They'll be taking chats from both. Uh, tonight, we are hopefully being joined by Piggy, back, <laughs> Piggy Bank Picks, uh, one of our fellow Instagram pages um, in our charity league. He should be stopping by soon. Uh, until then, we've got some announcements tonight. Stick to stick around, man. I can't talk tonight. Whoa. Yeah. Man, going through that was rough. <laughs> Look like, geez, man, just That's all right. can't get it right tonight. Oh we my can, gosh. We can edit that out in post, right? Is that, yeah. right? Is that a thing? Man, no, we good. should edit that out in post. That was horrible, <laughs> man. That was really horrible. I couldn't talk tonight. I was kind of shook, I guess. I don't know. Well, a little more so. bust than boom on that open there, you know. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I was thrown off. We had some, uh, so a little bit of technical difficulties. Also had, uh, uh, piggy bank. I don't know where he's at right now. So a little bit of scheduling of difficulty, apparently, too. Yeah, yeah, we're having some some issues. So, and then we were behind on time, and that got me flustered. So, anyways, I think we're good to go now, man. Now so, we're here. We're live. Everybody can relax. Yeah, I'm gonna move my microphone though. It's all up in my face on here, though. This might be more enjoyable for people to watch. Honestly, right. is everybody ready? We ready for two nodes? <laughs> look right. like look like Muppets. Right? Boy, what a day. Do people watch this crap? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So while we're waiting on uh, Piggy Bank, he should be stopping by uh, sometime. So um, anyways, while we're waiting on that, this is a charity league. And so um, we are announcing our charity. We have chosen our charity, and it is the Bella Foundation um SPCA or whatever it is actually a local um dog not really a shelter per se um your audio is I mean, off on my end oh like how how's my like, audio off like you're underwater a little bit Ooh, that's weird i don't know if i have a fix for that okay cool 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 still sounding weird uh it's sounding better now Huh, weird. Kind of yeah, weird. It's better now. Something? Okay. Something cool. Happened. We're back. We're back. All right. Oh, man. It is just one of those evenings. Jeez. <laughs> okay. So, so anywho, Bella. Um, Bella. Bella is not really, um, it's, it's a rescue. It's a pet rescue. Mm -hmm. um, we have adopted uh, two dogs from there. My wife and I have adopted two dogs from there. And actually, our third came from um, a place called Pet Angels, and they actually just merged with with Bella here locally here in Oklahoma City. So um, technically, all three of our rescue dogs have come from Bella now. And um, we just had my wife's uh, pup that she had when we got together, her her first son, um, just passed That's away. Sure. I just pulled up their website. A couple Okay, let me let me pull up this uh, this website really quick. So this is Bella SPCA, and um, so our guy, our our little pup, just passed away a couple months ago um, from a liver disease. Hey, Krusty, how's it going, man? And hey, JV Show. Um, so this is the charity we're going with because it's it's really uh, near and dear to our heart. Um, we lost our son, you know, um, Brock, and so we're gonna collect money and make a donation in his honor and his memory to Bella foundation. They do a lot of good stuff. They just opened up a pet hospital here locally for people who can't afford to take their pets to the vet. They will, they'll do um, pre veterinary work and stuff. So they're doing some really good stuff here locally. And like I said, it's near and dear to our hearts. So this means a lot to us. That's we decided to go with a, a local charity instead of a national one, because National ones have um, a little bit easier time raising funds and mm. get a lot more notoriety. Some have national commercials to to raise funds and stuff. And so we wanted to help out um, a smaller charity that has a hard time uh, raising money, getting the word out there. And so Bell is doing a lot of good stuff here in our local community. And uh, we want to help these these animals. They do a really good job with it. So that's our charity. That's what we're going with. Hey, Smitty, how's it going, man? Thanks for dropping in. Yeah. Um, and uh, what we'll do, what we're wanting to do is really kind of garner extra because, you know, the winnings go to the 
the charity, but we're really tr- going to try to push and get extra donations throughout the season. Right. So what we'll do exactly. is we'll start including uh, a link to this homepage in our Insta posts and things like that regarding the charity league. And you can see right here at the top, big yellow turns green when you hover, but a uh, button up there to donate directly to them. Yeah. So actually on the homepage of our website, if you click on that link in bio on Instagram, if you want to donate, if you click on that, there's actually a donate button there and it'll actually skip this homepage and take you directly to that donate page. Um, I have contacted them to try to get a, um, a special donate. So we can kind of tell how much our campaign is raising for them. Um, in particular, uh, I've thought about doing a, a GoFundMe, but the problem with like a GoFundMe and stuff, I, I don't want the money to come to us first and then to yeah. them. I would rather the funds go directly to them and then that way they can use it as it comes in. And uh, yeah, so it can just go directly to them. But it would be nice to be able to track how much money we're actually raising for them. But if that ends up not being able to be done, I don't really care. Uh, I would rather use this donate page and have random donations going to them than it coming to us first. So um, the only money that uh, should come to us and then them will be our uh, championship winnings that we get at the end of the season. So that will be a nice little bonus for them when we win the championship. Suckers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Smitty. When we get, get that W, you know. <laughs> mm, eat that W. That's that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. You know you like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Who's over here? What's up, Smitty? Thanks for popping in, man. Uh, have you picked your charity yet? I don't know if you've picked your charity yet. I haven't seen that. Um, I don't think there's any sort of time limit on on doing that. But um, Cool, man. Well, Piggy Bank is not here yet. Um, I feel like there was a couple other things we were going to talk about tonight uh let's see uh if you have a link to get on this live dm it to me if you want an extra person dude for sure uh let me get that over to you we'll get we'll, we'll get, get smitty in here. Here. piggy bank let us down <laughs> nah, just for now i don't know if he necessarily understood the rules i don't i don't know uh Thanks, Mitty. I swear I messaged you sooner than this, but I I guess not. I have to scroll pretty far back. There we go. Cool, man. There you go. Just sent that to you. Should connect you right in here with us. We'll bring you on. What's up, Akash? Thanks for joining us, man. Hop over to YouTube and you can uh, listen to all of us. Smitty's about to jump on here with us. Yeah, go over to YouTube. Here's what we need to do. We need to get Akash over here. And get both of them on with us. Oh uh, hell no, then, dude! That would take. And then they can duke it out over the Robert Tunyon pick. Nah, man. Like, <laughs> oh, Piggy's on. Look at this, Kevin. What's up? Okay, let's see if he can get his camera working. We'll hop him on. He must have heard us giving him crap. For being <laughs> his ears late. were burning a little bit. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> let's see. Let's see if we can get him on here. His camera's not working quite yet. Hold on, guys. Let's see. What's up, Tanner? Thanks for joining us, man. Oh, hey, here Tanner too. In the house. What's up, Fantasy Kings? Thanks for joining us over here, man. Cool, Fantasy Kings. Join us over on uh, YouTube if you want. We got all kinds of people over here. We got Smitty joining us, hopefully. And we got Piggy Bank. We got all kinds of people over here. So join us over there. Oh, fuck. Let's see. Kevin, get it together, my man. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, your last name's really Banks? Hello, hello. Let me see. Because that would be really cool. I like it. I'm going to hide you on stream until you get your, get your crap together there, buddy. You'll learn our humor. <laughs> <laughs> You'll learn our you'll learn our humor. He likes you Smitty. Y'all. Smitty, Smitty what's up, Smitty? What up, brethren? Can you hear us, Smitty? There we go. We can hear you a little bit now. Smitty. 
You gotta be smarter than your equipment, my man. <laughs> like like Smitty doesn't know how to work his equipment, right? <laughs> okay. Hold on one second. Yeah, yeah, that's good, man. You guys, I, I think you can hear me. A little yeah. bit, yeah, yeah. Let me leave and come back. Hold on one second. All right, cool. Kevin's still trying to figure it out over there. I swear this is going to be a lit. This is going to be a really, oh, really lit yeah. session once we get it going, though. It's going to be really sweet. Technical difficulties worked out. We're gonna. It's gonna be a party up in here, man. I know we were we were advertising, uh, uh piggy over piggy here, over but. Here, but uh, uh, it's actually going to be more like that. Ooh, I'm getting, Ooh, a, I'm getting a nice echo nice now. Nice echo now. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. hide Piggy again until he gets it figured out. But there we go. Smitty, can you hear us now? Testing, testing. <laughs> he still can't hear us. Nope. He I don't know what's going on. Do we need, do we need to do sign language? Like, I bet his headphones are like connected, but he's not hearing it. Smitty. <laughs> this is too good. It's, I swear he's like. On his own intern show right now. I know. He's going to put us on his show saying something stupid on the next I episode. know. Now he, he's acting I like that. I can't the hear you guys. <laughs> we don't know either, man. That's um, wild. That's weird. Damn. Huh. I, I can just hold up a sign. <laughs> well, we can hear Perfect. you. <laughs> yeah, we can hear you I, fine. I I'm trying to lip, lip read here. We um, need the sign. Let me try leaving one more time. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Akash. Um, I don't know. Yeah, we should be able to do five. Yeah. Let's <laughs> We've never tested it like this. I don't know how many no. people we can get on here. I think we can get up to six people. Oh, let's do it. We gotta find a sixth person then at this point. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Maybe. I gotta find a kosh on this list of. We got five. I act like who, I'm, who else could we get on here? Send one to James. Man, I don't know. Five, five is enough, man. <laughs> Dude, yeah, poor Kevin. We... Piggy Banks is. Uh... There we go, Akash. I just sent it to you. Um, cool. Let me let me see if Smitty can figure this know. out now. I don't know what was going on there. I had to to come in and out. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, well, we you can hear you way better now. Uh, I don't know I what guess, the hell is going on. I guess you can hear us now too. Yeah, not sure. I, I just exited a couple times and it worked. We were oh, there's a kosh. We were joking around. You're gonna have us on your next episode of the intern saying some stupid what's crap. Up, <laughs> yeah, technic. I don't know what's going on. I, I just exited and came back in a couple times. I'm not sure if it was having issues. Yeah, I bet your what. intern was definitely messing with your equipment. He was playing uh, on your it, drum set for sure. In, interns got the night off, so. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll oh look at that we'll blame there it we on go. Chrome. what's going on fellas how's what's it going up, oh, a, we got the camera working got a little bit of an echo with uh with kevin there but do i hold right, on yeah let's see is that better yeah that's better there you go okay. uh, a little yeah. bit that's fine i don't mind hearing myself obviously <laughs> Yeah, I guess the background. Are you the noise. only one echoing though? Yeah, I think so. It was cool until oh, not anymore. Yeah, not that kind of went away. Oh, not you muted. Echo. That's why. Oh. Guys, could y'all get y'all's audio crap together? <laughs> All you guys. <laughs> I, I don't. I think I'm gonna blame it on the uh, on the uh, studio here. here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that echo. Man, don't, don't you put that bad, bad mojo on me, Ricky Bobby? Because it's definitely. Yeah, it's yeah, definitely uh, Kevin. Uh, is it? Yeah. yeah. Hold on. He's a Colts fan. We don't expect much more out of him. That's fine. Even he's used to mediocre. That's cool. That's good. <laughs> That's cool. No, but now we get to let a cop and Smitty have the Robert, Robert Tunyon debate live on stream here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's no debate to be had when you're getting Tunyon. And what the ninety? What, what was it? Or ninety something pick? Dude, we'll just, it have, was... we'll just have Kevin Kevin mute himself when he's not talking. That's probably yeah. That's probably I first, I just muted first, him first there. Player. Yeah, he's not bad. <laughs> but you know, there we go. Let's see. You got how far down yeah, are you able to get him? The thing Dom needs to give us our rookie picks and let us add players because dude, you got Tanyan 
way down here. 7.12. I don't know what yeah, that yeah, equates no, out to divided by fact, 16. But. The fact that anybody has a problem with it at all is is head scratching to me. Like, what if you, you don't go over, though, that's a, it's not like where you took him, it's who you took him over, right? You took Hunter Henry, like right around yeah. that pick. I took Hunter Henry, yeah, around after. So that, like, yeah. just that little you know turn, that, that little tiny six. Nah, it was it was a couple rounds after. I'll, I'll say this: so it's not a horrible pick, just because every tight end after Kelsey Kittle, Waller, maybe Pitts, they're not great. They're not like world beaters. It's just Tanya was number four last year. Just yeah, so everybody I don't knows. draft players for last year's points though. Who, who does? Yeah, but that, that, but that's a big. I mean, a guy right, that right. dropped eleven TDs. You know, right. it, and we could use like the old, you know, profile system right. here and say, oh, well, well, what, what about Waller? What about like what's 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 your explanation for Waller? Why can't Tunyon do it if Waller can do it? I don't know talent. I don't know. <laughs> Steven Core. I don't know. He can do it. Like he. Like... <laughs> We're talking about the ninety. What is that? What pick is that? That's. Like, I didn't do the math. I, I don't know, dude. It's... I don't even understand how this is even a topic. Bobby Tunyon. I don't. They brought it in, like the nine, just... in like the nineties. Is a bad pick. Like in a sixteen-team <laughs> league where you have sixteen that, starting right? tight ends. Like Bro, that's number four. that's what they said. That's oh. what they said to us about Mike Davis. I mean, we picked him up in like yeah, I don't now know, pick at number seventy-nine. Now he's all over Instagram. <laughs> yeah, now I'm just glad he's not going to beat me up. Mike Davis broke the internet. Like, there's... <laughs> he ate JV and Hawkins, man. That was a great pick. There's no competition left. Uh, I don't know. Not, what's great about about the Tunyon pick, if anybody's drafting on the sleeper app, he wasn't showing up in the tight end category. Like you could only receiver. find him yeah. in in the wide receiver category because he's both wide receiver and tight end. And so yeah, that's, I, that's I think they fixed that for Tunyon. I know it's still that they, that way for Dan Arnold, but. They may have fixed it since we drafted, but when we drafted, he was not listed under the tight ends. And so once he crept up on a longer list of wide receivers, people, you know, were starting to realize I think he was there. But that that was one of the – I'll go as far as to say that was one of the steals of the draft in terms of team need, position, how there's 16 starters. At, everyone's going to have a, a, a shortage at tight end. Like this, that was a good pick for, for as late as it was. I'd say the steal of the draft for tight end was Logan Thomas, just because he would last. All of the tight ends offer similar production, so whatever one you get last, that's the biggest steal. How right? does Logan Thomas that much like I, I for Tunyon not only outscored him, but like he, I don't they know had that the, the same guys like points. Like they both had eleven points per game. And Logan Thomas okay. had more total points. What did Logan Thomas finish overall? Thirty. Three? Yep. Overall, he did not finish three. Tight end three, yeah. No, he didn't. He did. No, he didn't. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's pull us up. Sure. <laughs> Tight end three. Come on. Yeah, they, they both had 176.6 <laughs> points, so they were both tied for third. And I see a three on mine. Point. I'm just saying. I'm yeah, he's up. the number three tight end PPR. Yep. I'm going to pull it up. I, I got it up on. Is, oh, here. If he is, I, 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 I I'm not. Let's see. Hold there on. you go, Smitty. About, on on screen points, right now. Points per game or what? Number three tight end PPR in, on the season. Let's, hold on, hold on. Let me pull it up. Yeah, I've, that would be shocking to me. That'd be one of those on, like under the radar things that uh, that slip past people. Yeah. But for know. dynasty, like, Mon Mon like Montgomery. Over. Montgomery's number four, and like you tell somebody that they're like Montgomery, number four running back. Last year, it's all the stretch. Like he nice. has, he so has I'm looking thirteen or more points and like all the I'm look, one game. I'm look, okay, I'm looking at stats. Two thousand twenty. Yeah, I got one league. I got them four. One league. I got them at three. Okay, that's that's impressive. Yeah, That's does it, like if the fumbles are different, then yeah, fumble settings messes. Uh, yeah, that is impressive. I I wouldn't have I wouldn't have guessed he was in the top five, to be honest. What do you think he was? Mm, maybe six to ten. Yeah, somewhere around yeah, that I range. Mean, but that, that that's like, impressive. Does all tight ends seem like just because they're all so mediocre after the big three. 
Yeah, that's that's crazy. I would never have guessed that. I would never have guessed that. Uh, he's a he's. But but what but what makes you like that pick, but not like the Tunyon pick when they scored the exact same? Like, what is it? This because he went three rounds after. It's just a matter of value. no, no. But I know. But what makes you not like Tunyon at all at ninety something or wherever that pick was? He's like know. he's twenty seven years old. Like, what what is he's it about good. him? Okay, I don't know. All just right. like general regression, like. I've learned not to use regression too much on the Packers just because their offense is good. But he only had like uh, 59 targets last year and finished top five. And like only guys to finish top five with less than 100 targets, not even less than 60. Only guys to do that regress in the next season. And if you're looking for guys who finish top five with less than 60 targets you have to go back to 2010 to find even one so uh, do you ever take so someone based on your, on your gut on the <laughs> no jokes smitty the, ever, answer to that, you, the answer to that is no he will you stats ever, the hell out of you like but i mean do you ever do you ever do you, when you let gut override anything though or your eye test override anything that's the part that's sort of so both, crazy you know? to me yeah all right all right well I'll we'll see bro me, all right my gut tells me madison <laughs> is mediocre oh, and then stats tell me he's better than mediocre how about that so you do need an eye test that's for sure then we've we've <laughs> concluded that you you do know numbers bro and like i said if you combine like a you combine your approach and my approach we probably would be unstoppable together bro but but madison i don't know how watching him you don't feel like that there's there's a drop off between cook and madison talent wise for sure like we're talking about a number three running back in the league when he's in the system but when madison goes in there if you're if you're getting a snack bro you you're getting a you're di- you're you're double dipping your wings over at the counter and looking at the tv you might even be surprised that madison's in the game and not cook because of the way they both run the football and the way the system creates production no matter who is in there this guy would be a top six to ten running back of starting 16 games or, or just per start every start that he he starts he will he will be a top six to ten running back um i realized he got one start last year where he didn't do very well he was like game scripted out of that but then later on in the season he had a two td game i think week 17 or whatever right, yeah, i yeah. can't really see that but yeah week 17 like, so you mm-hmm. could you could bring up both those games but bottom line is when you watch the guy run a foot run the football he looks aggressive he fits the system well he replicates what cook does on the field pretty pretty good and I think most people I haven't heard. You're like one of the first people I've heard that doesn't like Madison all that much. Like you're calling him mediocre. I'm just curious. What what is it that you see you don't see when you watch him? Like if you just take stats out of it. Yeah, I see him just get stuffed a lot. He gets. Uh, I don't know. I don't watch the like you. Madison doesn't play a lot, right? So <laughs> hard to watch him. And I don't go back and watch tape. He gets stuff, and he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys got to stop that. <laughs> we, uh, Give him the Jason Garrett clap. Going. We talked about how fun <laughs> the Washington offense is. They have how what? How what? How fun the Washington offense is, right? How fun? Yeah, just from like a football perspective. <laughs> yes. Stop that, Corey. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I love Gibson, uh, but but yeah, Gibson's one of those guys a, that that doesn't fit the the stat mold or the the profile or whatever, right? So yeah, I mean, I'm just talking you, about football. Like they have Fitzpatrick, who's fun no matter what team he plays for. Gibson's a wide receiver turned running back. Uh, McKissick's a wide receiver turned running back. Samuel's a running back turned wide receiver. Thomas is a quarterback turned tight end. I don't know. It's just fun. Yeah, uh, you guys would be shocked. How how many? How many re- – nobody look it up, okay? Okay. And, uh, Kosh, you don't say anything because you probably, right, probably you. have memorized <laughs> He's the stat. He's nerd out. Uh, <laughs> how many rushing attempts uh, did Gibson have in college? I know it. Everybody but Kosh. Yeah, of course. Not much. Yeah, not <laughs> like his entire much. college career? Yeah. Yep. Uh, I'm going to go with less than 100. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't have. I'm, I'm trying to pull it off. I think it's 33, right? It, it is. Uh, I was going to say around 30, but catches, so 33, yeah. 33 rushes. This guy comes in like every stat model or 
prediction, you know, based on 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 matrix and stuff like that uh, in college profiling, like would say that this guy would fail. So so when you say fun, I agree. I think the Washington Redskins rock, football team. It's going to take me years to 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 get that down. <laughs> I'm not I used call, to it. No, Oakland Raiders, you know, I, all that Danny stuff. Like, it's, it's, well, it's like me, years me and of Cowboys fan. Me and Corey are Cowboys fans, so they've been the Redskins for way too long for us. Yeah, and, and, yeah. and <laughs> wonder when the Cowboys will be taken away from you. But but I'll say this, that that uh, I, I don't know, man. I, it's crazy. It's crazy that that Washington like saw saw the potential in this guy to become. Yeah you know, an Alvin Kamara type hybrid wide receiver running back. And, and, and we all liked him when he got drafted, but there, there's a lot yeah. of risk involved in throwing a guy with no workload. There's still a little bit of risk, I think too, because you're drafting him at 15 overall, 18 overall, 20, depending, depending on your league, but there's still risk that he can't hold up as a full-time running back for multiple years, but, but it's hard not to buy into him. He's so exciting. Yeah. yeah. We'll see. I don't know. You tend to like guys who got, um, for durability, you like guys who got more tar- more uh, carries in college. That's right. That's true. But um, I've seen uh, running back models that don't use um, like total production and stuff as much, and they use um, film grades, yards created, and receiving production. And so I think uh, Gibson would have done all right in some uh, running back models. I don't think anyone would have like predicted him to be a top 24 running back his first season. What what are your thoughts, Akash? What are your thoughts, Akash, on Derrick Henry in 2021? Are you worried about – because you're a numbers guy. Are you worried about 303 carries in 2019, 400-ish if you include the playoffs in 2020, 2,000-yard curse, which takes out every running back almost except for Barry Sanders or at least depletes you by half of your your stats the year prior – He's a, you know, and there's film on, there's a lot of stuff out there today of him, like, you know, his workouts is squatting, like, you know, 8 billion pounds. And I think people, I don't know about you guys, but at some point he's going to drop off. The question is, will it be this year in the middle of the year? Because he, unlike Todd Gurley, he didn't, he's not showing signs of drop off heading into the, the year that everybody's going to be maybe worried about him. Uh, Gurley did Gurley in the Super Bowl. It's like there was a lot of signs that Gurley was breaking down, and it was going to be a, a, a you know a downward uh, spiral from that point on. Um, with with Henry, he finished absolutely like a beast. So, who's worried about him, and is anybody avoiding him outside like the top five or six? And where's your line at where you would take him? I'm just curious with everybody here. I mean, you mean dynasty or that. redraft? Let's go, let's let's go redraft and then dynasty because his and that's the other thing is is his dynasty value is like a round later than his redraft value, mm-hmm. which is you know very telling yeah. as to, to people are expecting the drop off, but most people are like, okay, give him one more year. That's why we'll drop draft him in the top six. But what's everybody think redraft and dynasty? I still like on redraft. Absolutely. Yeah, I think redraft, yeah, redraft no probably number five running back off, yeah. After those big four thing. This isn't something that I'd use in my analysis, just a, a, a fair point. Like, there hasn't been a 27-year-old or older running back to finish as an RB1 in the last, like, four years. It's just a, Yeah, but Derrick like, Henry's not human, so you can't right, really... Exactly. I'm, yeah. I'm taking that into my uh, projection that he's better than... A you, have a, you, have an alien, you have an alien column where you're like, okay, alien <laughs> score yeah. 7 out of 10. <laughs> yeah. Over Override override initial molecular structure of the 5.42 crossover mega gigawatt variation standard model <laughs> henry gets a pass um now does, yeah, it, does anyone put henry higher than like kamara or uh, anything no. of that sort like no well i mean in like a let's say like a standard scoring league even half ppr yeah. do you put henry above kamara yeah i guess so I don't know. Standard. I don't know anyone who plays standard anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. I think outside the norm here and say that like I'm not. There is a place where I'll draft Henry. Like in that place is still in the first round. You know, like I feel like the mm-hmm. later he falls, the more risk you yeah, can yeah. bake into the ADP. But I'm I'm not taking 100. him in the top five. I I would rather, and I don't want to say I'd rather have this player over Henry. 
I'd rather have the strategy or the the trade down. So like I'd rather trade down into the second round and and draft and move up my fourth round or and try and get like basically yeah. I'd try and take my top five pick and turn it into two Calvin Ridley's or two AJ yeah. Browns or yeah, two, whatever wide receiver you like, two D two DK Metcalf. So that might take two trades because nobody has two second rounders. But if you trade your first down to the second, move something up and then get back into the second again, that's kind of where I like I'd rather have I'd rather have a wide receiver like DK, AJ Brown, Ridley, insert whoever you like there, and like a Clyde yeah. Edwards Alaire versus having just Derrick Henry. And that would be my motivation if I had that like five pick and I'm not liking the running backs that are falling. Barkley's gone, you know, Cook Camara are gone. I, yeah. I don't know. I'm just not feeling Henry this year, and and I don't know, Akash, you're here, so we might have the stat in front of us because I I can't find it or I haven't looked it up yet. I would love to know was a little assignment for you, unless you know it already. Yeah. Um, where does Derrick Henry rank in the league in terms of lower body shots? Hmm, I would I love that to find way. that out because that's a whole nother thing. Like you know, that's people are going for his legs. Like this guy getting out of 2021 healthy is going to be. In my opinion, a, a miracle. Oh yeah, everyone tackles RBs by the legs. You can't arm tackle them unless right, they're like right. a step back, right? <laughs> Nobody's hitting but, Derrick Henry face right. to face. Going for Derrick Henry's um, <laughs> shoulder plates because then you end up on the internet like Josh Norman. Right. So I'd love to know like the higher risk this guy has in terms of getting tackled. You know what I mean? And he's doing most of his know. work between the tackles. Like he, he just feels like a much higher risk for injury. But I don't know. I've seen people it's not like popular. Like, uh, run, run, uh, which uh, gap they run through, but I haven't seen anything that quantifies where they get hit. But I have seen, um, I think it's pro football focus chart like, um, slides and running out of bounds for QBs and like said something like, I remember during Lamar's MVP season, they're like, oh, he's only been actually like tackled like seven times because he runs out of bounds or slides so much. He's protects like, himself. Because well. he's rushing doesn't mean he's going to get blown up. Mm. But I don't so think he ever seen anything like Derrick Henry. I mean, yeah, Derrick Henry. I mean, I think looks for contact. This. Jim Brown is one of the greatest running backs of all time, and he is taller. He's twenty pounds heavier. Um, Derrick Henry's a, it's just made in a lab, man. I mean, we <laughs> <sighs> yeah, crazy. It's nuts. It's nuts. it's hard to predict injuries. It's really hard to predict injuries. Everybody's injury luck runs out eventually. I mean, yeah. McCaffrey had been healthy for this last year. Yep. Even with guys who get injured, like, all the time, like Fuller or Cook or something, like, I don't project any injuries at all just because they can be healthy all season and make you look like a fool. Yeah. I remember someone last year saying, oh, you should draft Mixon over Dalvin Cook because um, Dalvin Cook's more likely to get injured, and then Dalvin Cook doesn't get injured and Mixon does. Sorry, hmm. I don't know. Take the Smitty, didn't you have a conversation with uh, Lord Don't Lose last offseason about injuries? And uh, oh, I think yeah, particularly you're talking about CMC, correct? Yeah, I don't know if, if you what you guys were talking about just before I got in about injury prone or maybe that's how it got brought up, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah he that that yeah, he doesn't he doesn't subscribe to injury prone exists at all. Like mm-hmm. I, I get that there's arguments about defining it. And and some people overuse it, like no question about it. But there are definitely players that that have more susceptibility to injuries, whether it's concussions, whether it's um, you know just ligaments, um, the structure of their body. Like so much is involved in that that you don't know all the answers to. So sometimes you just got to recognize the patterns in a player's injury history. But if mm-hmm. you don't have like the quad strength. Your your ligaments are more susceptible to be torn if you your 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 patellar tendons do a brunt of the work over and over and over. Um, I was a victim of that myself because I had strong calves. Um, I run a lot. I played a lot of sports, but my thigh strength wasn't up to par, and my patellar tendons for like 15 years were taking the brunt of the work, and then one day it just snapped. Um, mm-hmm. So there's so many variables involved, but yeah, people misuse it. But there are definitely running backs that feel like their a their bodies are more susceptible to injury. Their aggressive play puts them in vulnerable positions. And you know, if you're a Dalvin Cook owner, I heard Dalvin Cook right when I came in. I don't know what you guys said about it, but if you're a Dalvin Cook owner, you were holding your breath 
last year. There were like three times where he like came off the field and you're like, holy crap, he's done for the year, you know, or he's out for like four or five games. Then he comes back on the field and you're like, oh my God, you know, and, and he, that's why Madison's so important, I think, to, uh, to uh, cook owners. Here's another thing. How about Derrick Henry, right? He's only been the starter for what, two and a half years? Yeah. I mean, he is 20, what, 26, 27, but he's only been there for two and a half years. I mean, we recognize them that Jaguar game that he went for 204 touchdowns. And we're like, oh, okay, Derrick Henry, you did that in December. I mean, he's probably the best fantasy running back in December. So when it's fantasy playoff time, Derrick Henry's probably the best running back the last three years, right? That's because they see Jacksonville so much in December and Houston. But yeah, definitely. Until you aim for that. Yeah this year and he breaks his leg like Dak Prescott. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I don't think um, people that you get the risk um, with everybody. <laughs> in their evaluations during May. I don't understand it. Like if you're gonna use last it, year's it, the schedule, I don't get yeah. it. Yeah. And there's well there there's things there's things there's that are telling that are about it. You know there's, there, yeah it's it, it, it's, it's like you gotta use it as with a grain of salt. You gotta take it and try and apply it with logic and say to yourself like for example, I, I went into a, a clubhouse room where uh, a lot of guys were placing, you know, bets and they're wanting to talk about fantasy football betting or, or NFL betting. And they were talking about things, you know, they study this, they study that. But if you don't know, like, that the Green Bay Packers, you know, changed the way that they operated in 20 – I'm getting all my years mixed up now – 20 uh, 2019 because um, you had uh, Deon- uh, Devontae Adams get hurt he was hampered even when he came back and they went run heavy. And then Aaron Jones got us like what, 19 touchdowns on the ground. Like they completely changed how they approached uh, their offense. And then coming into the next year, everybody in 2020 was doubting Aaron Rodgers. He's one of the biggest steals in fantasy football. And it was like, everyone's like, Oh, they're going to run now. They're going to run now. If you don't understand why they were running in the late part of 2019 and that it wasn't mm-hmm. that they were exactly changing their entire offensive scheme. It was that they were hampered. They had no wide receivers. They, they changed how they were, they were going to, you know, approach everything without Devonte Adams. And then you walk into 2020 and, and you're surprised that, that they get back to throwing the football. Like there's so many things you got to like factor in. You can't just take stats and say like, okay, yeah, sc- strength of schedule teams aren't mm-hmm. like, if you don't know where teams are improving, and yeah. you don't understand different injuries that, that that took place, you're gonna not be able to use the data. But when you look at like the Pittsburgh Steelers and you say, "Hey, they got one of the best running schedule uh, schedules for or running uh, uh, strengths of schedules for running backs uh, heading into 2021," it helps you prepare for the potential that you have Roethlisberger struggling or declining and that offensive line issue. So it's very helpful to know, but yes, you can't apply it and say, oh, nothing's going to change. This is this, this is that. Um, but it, I think it's very helpful. So what do you guys think about Barkley then? So when, uh, you know, we had, he had that great rookie season, the season following he had that, what was the high ankle sprain or whatnot, or he was out, he was supposed to be out for six weeks. He's a B. So he came back in three, uh, finished as the RB nine. And then next, the following year, you know, he turns his ACL, MCL, and meniscus, I believe. That's more than what Adrian Peterson tore with that meniscus. So what are your thoughts on that? And also, you got to think about where is he mentally? He was on a, a show with uh, Mike Tyson, mm-hmm. Hot Box, right? And they had asked him, hey, uh, you're going to come back stronger, right? Because that's the cliche thing to say. Oh, you're going to come back stronger. And he said, no, I'm not. I have to be a better uh, teammate and I have to be uh, a better, you know, just just – get my knowledge up and whatnot. And I was like, wait, that sounds like something a veteran would say that's declining, not a guy in his prime. So what are you guys' thoughts on that? Yeah, I think he can return well. He's got the he's got the talent to the backup. You know, I don't think it sounds like he's going to decline or anything or seed any carries to Ryquel Armstead or Devontae Booker. I don't know. He's still very, he's still pretty talented, very talented. He's got a bit yeah, a lot of talent. Of- a lot, of has to do with, a lot of it has to do with how old you are, um, mm-hmm. the, the thigh strength, because like that ACL, it's inside, you know, the middle of your knee, keeping the knee entirely tight. You've got, yeah. um, you got meniscus in between. So when you tear that ACL, like, like when you or I or anybody bends over to get a newspaper, whatever, not that the newspaper is delivered anymore, but <laughs> if you bend, bend over, it's like, it's like this, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. So when you tear the ACL, it's more 
like more micro movement like but it's like it just grinds away that meniscus so you need the you need the acl it's good like visual barkley would eventually I'm the need visual. The ACL. Yeah. but if you tear that acl um a guy like barkley so let's say you, you just magically go in and you take his acl out while he's sleeping but you cause no other damage whatsoever his knee because he's got so much surrounding muscle around the knee we don't have any muscle around our knee at all. This guy's got a knee wrapped in muscle and he's got more quad strength, which has so much to do with recovery and, and being able to, to have a good recovery, fast recovery. It's almost like there's no more movement in his knee. He's got a tight fitting knee mm -hmm. with the ACL in or out. Um, the problem is when you go in and, and, and fix it, you're creating the damage you got to heal from. And, and, and if you did damage other pieces of it, like especially meniscus, they say that that meniscus damage, because you got to cut it out, can cause more long-term damage than if you were mm. able to leave it in and heal it. Because you take the padding out and you need, you know, you, you have just all kinds of things that can get off kilter Grinded. with your knee. So but with this guy, the last thing I'll say is with this guy, what made Adrian Peterson's comeback so amazing is that his the tightness of his knee the fact that you know it wasn't like he's like for me i tore my acl and to this day this is a, a decade ago to this day it still feels like you cut my knee in half and then just set it back on top like you're on top of a ladder and you're about to like fall out like that's how my knee feels when i cut on it like to this day still oh. adrian peterson i can assure you with with barkley don't they don't feel that kind of thing when they cut they've got such a strong uh quad and, and trust with their knee that that it's really going to be much different for these guys and that's why adrian peterson looks so good coming back i think barkley's going to be the same thing he's got a very very strong quad um very good tightness in the knee and unless there's some kind of other peripheral injury that reemerges, or let's say they didn't cut clean it up good or he has some kind of infection or something like i think he'll look pretty on par with where he was when he left. I think he's going to be, he could be potentially smarter. Like he's saying, he needs to learn the game different or look, approach mm -hmm. it differently. That's what I think he probably meant by that. But I have, I have no doubt about the talent. Um, if he was a little yeah. older, I'd be a little concerned, but mm -hmm. there's a certain age barrier. Akash may know the exact date uh, <laughs> that it happens. Yeah, where seven years and uh, 100 and, days. And, yeah. And, and, and when you, when you cross that Jesus barrier, Christ, it's like, <laughs> It's like you're never coming back. Um, but I would say it's it's he's probably a little past that age, but because of his phys physical ability. Mm. Um, like if you tear your ACL at 21, you can – like we've seen it, you know, Cook and and Priest Holmes. And like you you didn't even know these guys had college ACL injuries. They're that good in, in the pros. Played for 17 Yeah, years. so 20, 21, 22, every year that goes by – that, that you get past the age of like 21, there's a lesser chance of you looking to form, you know, but I think Barkley, if anybody can stretch it a little bit, it would be Barkley. But I, I don't know that I draft him too. Um, mo mostly because you can't cuff him. And I know Akash doesn't agree with this, but I think if you have Madison Cook, you're golden. You got mm -hmm. Tony Pollard, especially Tony Pollard, my probably my biggest sleeper standalone. You don't even need Elliot, just draft him anyway. Uh, win a league type player if he gets in there. Tony Pollard mm -hmm. and Zeke Elliott, Cook and Madison, um, Kamara mm -hmm. and Lat Murray. I guess you know. I think Lat Murray's probably still capable. Yeah, but we'll see if that that holds true this year. But I I mm -hmm. wish Barkley had a cuff that was of that like caliber. Um, I think Chuba Hubbard could be for McCaffrey. It clearly was yep, Mike was Davis, but he ate his way out of Carolina, <laughs> and uh, they couldn't they <laughs> couldn't feed him anymore. They couldn't afford to feed him anymore. So they sent him packing. Mike, but great eating, Mike. You're doing a great job with that, Mike. Great eating. But Chuba <laughs> Hubbard uh, hopefully will will become the guy that you could cuff with confidence. But yeah, I drafted Chuba Hubbard for that reason in a league where I don't have McCaffrey, just as. Just so I could use him as trade bait, since I didn't like him, that I didn't like anyone else in the third round. So yeah, I, I agree that cuffing can be valuable. It's not that handcuffs are always bad; it's just that there's you're better off sometimes using picks on other players, especially like pass catching running backs, just because they have a better chance to give you startable value. Just because, yeah, like I said, I, it's hard to yeah. predict injuries, and you know. 
I think I think that's a good a good take. Um, when the cuff isn't like what I call a super cuff, a super handcuff, a guy capable of being a top ten player at his position if he's vaulted into the lineup. Um, How so about I mean, a, but but I do like believe if you can draft Hines instead of like if you can like last year if you drafted Hines instead of Madison, like objectively you're better off just because. Yeah, but Hines that yeah, but you're RB fifteen. But you're but you're picking a guy that that landed like you'd have to land that pick too in that range. Landing right. those picks like Hines are are, are tough. It's so not, I'd rather yeah, it's not easy. No, but you know, the way I look at it is that if if you if you want more visuals, you take the backup running back. <laughs> And you combine the two, and then literally you don't have to worry about one of your running back positions ever, ever again for the whole entire season. So, like, there's security in that, you know, Hopefully, versus right. you draft, you draft this player, that player, that player, that player. All three of them can get hurt. All four, you know, you're you're ultimately putting yourself in a position to only focus on your running back two all year long. Your flex. So, I, I I agree with you if you're if you're wasting it, but I think Madison Pollard. Pollard, especially, I'm, I'm telling you, that guy's going to win leagues in 2021 20, because yeah. Zeke worries me. I like Zeke. I'm probably going to draft him somewhere because I, 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 it's fun owning Zeke Elliott. If he's healthy, he'll probably do well. But I, I, I have a little bit of a fear that we saw a decline happen, and it wasn't just situational or you know. He has the most miles or, on him out of any running yeah. back in the league, and it's, yeah, it's not yeah. even close. And if you look at his mileage next to other people with his mileage, like you don't recognize anybody that's playing or doing well yeah. right now. You're like, holy crap, that there's nobody significant not, right uh, now. With, he's not I'm a certified not, I'm, pre-owned I'm, anymore. I haven't researched it, but like looking at uh, best ball win rates, I've read something about it, research on it. But if you look at best ball win rates, you have better uh, win rates of drafting receiving backs in – committees than handcuffs Kenyon drake yep kind of yeah uh, he, he could be the starter <laughs> he could be and they don't have you receivers could look at like him. that you, you could look at him as the starter uh, and jacobs i don't i i'm not drafting anywhere and maybe part of me is is biased <laughs> against him just because this this we kind of had the same feeling on that no yeah. receiving i'm not a big jacobs fan <laughs> Unless it's a lot of people think it's or, uh, unless it's pure volume or, Henry, I'm not drafting a running back who doesn't get any receiving work. I agree. A lot of people think it's it's me being bitter about him blocking me on social media because I went off on him when he did that whole. Uh, That's only seventy five percent of it, right? No, no, it, it validated that he's he's a head case, but he went he went off on his own following on Instagram. I don't know how how if you guys saw it, but he flipped off his followers. Um, oh, he's the Kevin the Durant of the NFL. He put the bird, it's it's he just a head reasonable. case. He's probably getting a lot of DMs from uh, triggered thirteen-year-old fantasy players who are like, <laughs> "I it, tried to start you, you and why are you sitting? Now I have no running backs." I get yeah, it. but you know what? Like, There's as an analyst that, that faces that constantly, um, you know, I get Akasha's DMs. You know, like I'm seeing it constantly, <laughs> I'm getting ridicule, ridiculed left and right. But when, but when you do it professionally and you're you're on social media, like get off of social media if you can't handle it. Like that's that's what he should have done if he can't handle. There's so many other players that do it well. They see it all the time. They don't they don't react to it. He mm -hmm. he basically said I'm not playing on his, on his Instagram story, and so sent news wires like you know they were like oh my god last minute breaking news you know even 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 I everybody was like hey he's saying he won't play we don't know if this is legit or not but he said himself he's not playing on Instagram so everybody posted it then he's out there in warm ups looking normal. And then, uh, and, and then basically he plays, and everybody that sat him got so upset, but he ended up playing badly anyway. And most people that sat him put in somebody that outscored him. So then they were even more mad at him because they ended up it ended up working out, but he lied to him. Then he put the bird emoji up and said, F your fantasy. This is to his own followers. When I mean, you put a story up, you're talking yeah. to your own followers. You're not like just talking to the, to the fantasy uh, abyss. You're talking to your own followers, and you're saying – F your fantasy, screw you. Then people were like, I'll come down there and whatever. And he's like, here's the address to the stadium. Come meet me. He put like four mm. of those up to have people come like fight him at the stadium. And then he deleted it all. Like he was a, a mess. And so at that point, I put out a post. I'm like, number one, I get a lot of athletes don't love fantasy. They don't do it. They don't 
play for fantasy, but we are. I get it, but saying that's your fantasy gets that's personal, dude. That's that's going yeah, too far. And, and and when someone says that <laughs> they shouldn't care about our fan our, about fantasy football, I don't think that's the case anymore. Like evolve, you know. This mm-hmm. is this is this is a time a day and age now where we make up a majority of the viewership of the NFL. Thank you for getting him out of my face. Uh, <laughs> and and uh, I, I'm like sitting there right in the. The, was Jason Garrett on your screen too? Still, he, he was a li- he was crowding me, bro. He didn't have a mask. He's not, he's not, he wasn't on my screen at all. I had him turned off. So I refreshed that, okay. because he was stuck on my screen. I couldn't figure out why. Yeah. But Corey said he was off on his end, so I thought he it was just my... messed up or something. He, he was on mine too. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> annoying. Sorry, guys. He he wasn't on mine. I took him off, I was, and then I could I couldn't see Kevin at all, and I was like looking around him to see Smitty, and yeah, it was not okay. <laughs> yeah, he was he was just crowd, crowding me a little bit, but basically that's the last person show. wanted on there. Have you guys in seen Jacob's like uh, trying to fight counselor on like? You mean you mean NFL? counselor trying to fight Jacobs? Yeah. And, and, and do, I, you, I do you do you do you want to see Smitty versus counselor? Yeah. Have you seen me Ooh. challenge him to a fight Dude, over and over, that. and he runs Smitty like a up, he, he grabs his juice box and he goes <laughs> hiding, and he won't he won't box me for charity charity counselor. I'll box you for charity any moment, any day. You show up, and and uh, I mean it's, it's going to be. He won't do it. Number one, he talks a bunch of trash to people who co- contractually can't rent. go fight He's somebody. Like what? What NFL player can ding, go ding. box a, a, a random Joe, especially this Joe Joseph? Well, <laughs> what? Yeah, what you, player? You catch everything. So. Robert. But then, I, I but scrolled, then I scrolled through his um, Instagram. I've seen I've seen pictures of back including these fantasy hands. frames. He was like. So skinny, he looks so nerdy. Like he just yeah, the picture, no, the and, and, of that to him, and, he'll get so triggered. And there's footage <laughs> of his fight out there. If you if you Google it, where he taps out right away in his first MMA fight, and he taps out right away, and and that was his only fight. But That's anyway, like regar- regardless, he 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 picks on like Matthew Barry. He picks on all these people, and so I've, I've I don't know if you guys have seen this, but on Twitter, I handed the entire world a get out of, of fighting the counselor free card. And all you have to do is present it, and I will fight in your place. I'm your oh, champion, just like in Game of Thrones. If he comes to you a caution, says, I'm going to beat you up, you just say, fight accepted, and go, proxy, proxy. And, 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 dude, I'm, I'm on I, it. I might take him, Smitty. I'm worried about your health. You cut too fast one way, your ACL might snap. I don't know. I, bro, bro, we, w- we won't show him this video so he has a, an account for my weakness, which is to kick me right in the knee. Right. Um, That's just don't worry. Though. I don't count, worry about I it. Put it against him to do that, anyways. Bro, uh, he, out here. he he came out and said, "I'll fight any analyst in the industry. They're all sheep." Blah blah blah. And, I, and so I immediately created like ten videos, raised my hand. He's of course blocked me, but uh, yeah, <laughs> it, it's uh, he will not. He will his not. DMs there. <laughs> one of a lot of my followers went in and into his his challenge post or whatever because I can't get in there, and they're like, "Smitty <laughs> wants to box you." Smitty wants to box you, and he's like, "That guy's a creep." How does he even know? I blocked him. How does he even know about this post or whatever? Like, and, and that was his answer. He's like, tell him no. Tell him no. Why does he have, he bought so many followers. I don't know how he has people that actually watch it. You buy them? Basically a 13-year-old internet troll who never grew up. I don't know. <laughs> all right. Anyway, so he, 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 all right. He, anyway. He's going to have our channel. <laughs> all right, what? guys. I am going to pivot this really quick. Uh, let's get to our charity league really quick. Talk a little bit about that. Um, yeah, I have yeah. something. Smitty, you have Rondell Moore in that charity league, right? I uh, what? You, Rondell Moore. Where? I don't think in so. In the charity league. I don't think in so. In the charity league, I, I have Ron, Rondell Moore. Oh, yeah, yeah he does. Yeah, he does. clip of him um, when he was running. Uh, he tripped. I think it was sophomore year. He tripped. And his leg actually, like, it hyperextended. But his leg strength was so, was so great that his ACL didn't snap, and if his leg strength hadn't been like that, his ACL would have snapped. In this he may, he may, maybe he did snap it. Who knows? Uh, Garrison Hurst, though, they do test for I've, it. I've Garrison heard that Hurst, conspiracy theory. I'm not sure about it though. About which one, Garrison Hurst? No, about Rondell Moore. How he like? It's oh, only, oh, oh, the yeah. Injury is only supposed to keep him out four games. He sat out. Garrison, all just Garrison safe. Hurst tore his ACL in high school. They didn't know it because right. his thigh strength I, yeah, was so told me strong. That story, yeah. And yeah, they didn't know until, um, until he got drafted. Until and then they made it. They made him have the surgery. Yeah. And All right, then go ahead. Sorry, charity league. Only after the surgery, <laughs> that they declined. Shut up, Akash. We're done. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. We're going to move to this. Uh, I'm going to start it off by fantasy football guy. 
uh, said Smitty didn't put me in top nine. Killed me. Dude, yeah, send, man. You just send Bald Guy a link. Let's get number six in here. Hell. There's 16 it's people, too- you know, like, and they're all pretty close teams because they're watered yeah. down in this 16 team league. Right. Um, I'm you know, it's, it's going to check them out. You know, if you got the one pick and you don't finish first, so to state of mind, who gave himself the first pick, uh, <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. Obviously. You nice should one, be Dom. ashamed. Yeah, ashamed of yourself if you don't win in a 16 teamer with that one pick. It's it literally well, gives you such. I a mean, huge you advantage. saw. I don't know if you saw or not, but on Instagram, he actually told all of his followers he was going to beat us all, anyways. So he went. He posted yeah, his roster and was talking about how awesome it was and roster baiting and was saying that yeah, he's the favorite to win the beating. league. And I think that's just according to him. But well, you know, he does have a good team, and you get that one. Yeah, pick, it's, it's pretty hard it to is. screw it up. It, yeah, because like to to get the back to backs right there at, mm-hmm. at yep. that th- two two three turn and then everybody else kind of he <laughs> made a trade away. offer to me that was um twenty it was um his second third his twenty three um his twenty three twenty two one two and twenty three one two for the pick that I took Tyreek Hill at he was going to take Tyreek two I said to my uh, co owners that we should take it it's a smash accept honestly but. He, uh, my co-owner said no, and that picks the picks turned into uh, Michael Thomas and Austin Eckler. You trade Eckler and MT for Hill, right? Like, mm, like you 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 trade no. Hill away for those two players, right? Yes. Yeah, I would trade Hill Hill away for those get, two players. Yeah, you get two firsts and two seconds. Uh, that's smash except hindsight's always twenty twenty though. It's okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I mean, Mike Thomas. There's risk there, but you're getting an extra player to completely compete with right. Hill. You know what I mean? Right. Like when I do a yeah. trade, it's two for, two for one. I want two players that individually can compete with the one player, even if it, it likely won't happen. Eckler probably will not score Hill. Uh, Mike Thomas yeah. probably will not score Hill, but each one could. That's a home run. And plus, it's the depth. Like, a sixteen. Eckler. If if I did that and I had um, if I had Eckler at uh, RB one and then Thomas at uh, wide receiver one, it's a small move from Hill to Thomas, but then it's a big move from Ronald Jones or or Connor to uh, yes. Eckler, right? So yeah, you know what you need to do, Akash, is, is fi- <laughs> you need to fire whoever was involved in this no right, decision. I, well, you I need think... to, you according to your calculations, you need to take care of this. <laughs> I think was the was the deal breaker the the future picks. Because it's, people didn't know about the future picks other than uh, Dom. Um, deal breaker was the fact that he didn't want to trade down. I said we should take Kelsey <laughs> at the um, instead of Mahomes, and then he said no Kelsey just because he's thirty one. I don't agree with that just because tight ends can play longer than thirty one. Did so. stop stop listening to your co. Right, uh, this it's his first ever dynasty draft. I should have. You should have just made draft. the trade and then been like, hey, uh, I'm sorry, I should have te- checked with you. You always ask for forgiveness. Bro, you like, make a did, good did my trade. Text not go through to you? Did my text not go through? I, I sent you one. I was wondering why you never responded, so I just went with it because <laughs> you must have fallen asleep or something. Um, well, it, to me, to me, me it was a little, it was a little shady. Anyways, when the the commish is like, oh no, nah, no trading. You get what you get. Okay, and then the first the freaking round, he's trying to trade future picks and all these picks. <laughs> Right. That no, we don't even did, know we have yet. I like. knew it was happening. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't. I, I didn't see any of this. I, I like Dom. I'm just joking with him, but I didn't see Shady. any of this. Must but... do. Yeah, yeah. You DM me. We're yeah, in a couple of with Dom. Seventh and eighth for your fifth. What do you mean? Well, this my my my, my, for the record. my future my future first is available if we are trading it. Just to let you know we if could, anybody wants yeah. to give. But Dom hasn't put in the rookie pick, so we can't do much. I don't know. He just okay. went busy the last couple of days. Gentlemen's agreement. Yeah. Well, anybody want to come to me? My my first rounder is available. Akash, you probably hate my team, right? So it's going to be a, a high pick in your mind. What? I, I, yeah, we both went zero RB, so I don't think we have a lot to trade off of. We both have the same needs at running back. So hmm. I don't think we have a lot to gain from each other. But, you okay. know, I could always trade for Monty if I need to. I don't know. I like Ayuk a lot more than Monty. So Mike Davis probably... is always available for trade. Hmm. Hey man, uh, you know after that photo, I don't think anybody would blame me coming after him. What 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 do you want? Let's make a trade right here on on the live. <laughs> yeah, dude, this is content. This guy's been doing it for six I'm, I'm years. Re- he knows how to make content. Kyle, you looking at that? Nine, Nineteen. I, I am, and Smitty already knows I like me some Trey Sermon because I done gave him a hard time for sneaking him out from under us. 
Yeah, I can't, I can't do that. I can't do that, though. I can't. Dude, we may have to bring Smitty on tomorrow and just walk through a trade. Just hash through this stuff. Man. I'm going to see what you guys Make an do. offer. We're live. Make an offer. Oh, man. I, I don't know that I would even That's trade Sermon right for him, though. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, Sermon, I yeah, love. Yeah. I love the there were, like, dynasty. three picks. Yeah, we love Sermon, too. But, yeah, yeah, we love Sermon. We're big Sermon guys. He was at OU longer than he was at Ohio State, guys. Okay. For sure. <laughs> preach the preacher okay right, well um, I'm, I'm i'm wait i'm waiting but go ahead and, and i'll look at i'll look cool, at we want to tongue in straight up yeah. for sure just, just kidding out of, uh, out of right. principle no That's <laughs> false <laughs> got per it got personal really quick all right um <laughs> so let's see i want to uh jump over to piggy bank here and his team i'm gonna put it on the spot hey, just because we, we were advertising can you first dynasty draft on the record kyle you want to add bald guy to this yeah let's add bald guy he's in here jeez man we got room for one more hold on bald guy i'll send you a link man it'll come to you via uh, instagram i I can't stay too much longer so he can he can have my spot of things start getting bogged down we gotta find a sixth person to take smoothie spot it never ends (laughs) (laughs) guys stop all right here we go okay so um Let's look at. Hold on, let's look at Piggy Banks' team here because he was on. He was being advertised today, so I wanna, I wanna kind of pick his team apart here, kind of see what he was (laughs) thinking on these. Uh, Unfortunately, we can't go through the draft board, so you can't really see the order you picked him in, but we can kind of guess it. What spot did you pick in? Um, Can you hit like? Can you hit eight? Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Let me see if I still zoom in. Yeah. There you go. Sorry, I'm on my big screen. It spreads everything out a lot. There we go. Is that a little bit easier for you? A little bit, yeah. Smee's got them old eyes. <laughs> He's got eyes like a hawk. <laughs> I, too. All I, right. I, I look on my own screen because I can't see on that one. <laughs> there you go. That's better. These eyes see parts. everything. Wow, Jeez. what a pick. Yeah, number eight overall. Not horrible. <laughs> um... Yeah, Chubb, Chubb, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I like him. He's obviously a, a good talent. I do worry about injury with him, and I know that upsets a lot of people. But his aggressive style of play, the injury he suffered in college was one of the most brutal knee injuries you could ever uh, endure. It was complete forward hyper stand. It was like this. If here's here's another here's another another example for you. Your knee bends like this, correct? It was like this. It was so bad. It was so bad. Everything but the ACL tour, and we don't even know for sure if that's true because it was so, you know, it was a while ago in there. Social media was different then. You don't know what was really reported. But his knee was like this. It was everything was completely torn, except for I think the ACL, which I believe was probably stretched. But granted, he's doing what he's doing. Um, you know, he could he could definitely do it another year. It's more of a calculated um in my year early or a year late on it. So doesn't mean that it's not going to work out for you, man. Like a lot of people will agree with you. Yeah, he averages 100 yards a game in a touchdown. Yeah. Huh, not yeah, bad. It's interesting to see which yeah. matters most for running back fall off. Is it experience or is it age? Because I don't think it's touches. I think it's one of those two. And I don't know. It also depends I mean, on he the missed, contract. Like, I mean, he missed four years back. and he's it. Dang. Sorry, go ahead. You see a lot of running backs fall off at after four years, but that's because not because of their age. It's because they go to a new team and are in a committee. So I don't know. I I've been getting lazy. I did a I've been like compiling research on it before, but I haven't tested any of it yet. Maybe I'll tell you guys when I do. I'm gonna be doing some some uh, injury uh, analysis and and. And uh, I'll have a, a sortable chart on it, like how how to look up ACL stuff and and you know declines and and what age potentially is the year where you can't come back from an ACL tear. I have a lot of the data. I just haven't. How old was Jamal a lot, Charles? A lot to go through. When? <sighs> That's a good question. The first uh, one. The so first probably, one. Probably twenty. Oh, first one. I don't know. The the, the last one he had probably. Tw- the, the 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 one where he came back and did well, I think it was twenty two, was it? I'm not sure. Yeah, the first time Marky could, killed him. <laughs> I could be I could be wrong on that, but he was um 
It was a while ago. So 24. Mm. Most of you probably don't even. The 2011 you did... was 24 years old. Yeah. So uh, James Omaha, as we know him in our league, uh, said Chubb was getting targets second half of the season last year. I mean, how many is this like? I mean, it looks like. Uh, Look at this. Three, he was on one, pace for two, 40. two, five, and then one. Bad. So he's getting bad some, bad. I guess. He was I on pace was... for 40 for the whole year. That's not bad. Considering, no. Considering he it's missed tough, uh, four games in there tough. completely. Four it's and a tough half. because he yeah, feels like yeah, the one like guy you want to cut. Don't do much, but he had a single game with five targets. I think that might be yeah. I. Georgia game. boy. A little outlier. Yep. I, I like him in a certain place. I just don't know that I I, I don't find myself um seeing I him fall to better... me because some, somebody takes him before I would I would take him. So I never have mm-hmm. the problem. you know, the problem. It, again, yeah. it's not it's not that he won't everything's a percentage for me. And and if I'm throwing an arbitrary percentage that I can't back up, it's just my my gut saying that if it's 25, 30% chance he plays 16 games. 17 games that's not a good enough percentage in my mind to Uh justify that that pick like at a certain point it would become risk all baked in just like with derrick henry um and derrick henry's isn't that far from his adp it's like if you can take him at 12 13 the turn which you'll never have him fall there which is why i don't own him but if he fell there i'd I'd be very much more inclined to take the risk on because you could you could package that with another player and supplement while he misses four or five games or whatever but Chubb, you can't cuff to his really good handcuff because his handcuff is a standalone player in his own. Well, and so that's why he's on my team free. as well. Yeah, and that's hard too <laughs> because last year I you cap some of your upside. Yeah, it is hard. I'll, I'll I agree with him because I last year I had a team that had Cream Hunt and Chubb, and the, and the team always it, it, when it struggled, it struggled, man, and it, right. it was mm-hmm. not as good. But I but I mean, Chubb, it's hard to like him just because. Uh, there's less uh, receiving volume. Like receiving volume is a Konami code for running backs. And I'd, if I'm going to get a guy without receiving volume, I'd rather have Derrick, Derrick Henry's um, 350 carries and Chubb's, like, what, 275 or something like that? Mm-hmm. I don't know what, his, what it extrapolates to, what he had uh, in a full season so- on. But I don't even think he's a bad pass catcher. I think Hunt's just getting it all. because he, he needs to be using the screen game. Pass- before hunt came it was wasn't but if he does special. then your your hunt pick gets taken down but i i like yeah. hunt alone and then you using that pick on a, another player but that's just me but it doesn't mean mm-hmm. you don't have a good team man i like i like i like what you did here that's waller's right. uh you got a huge positional yep. advantage if waller does you know drop the Absolutely. same kind of numbers um Lock were you kind of forced crafty. into that by seeing these other tight ends go did you take uh, a tight end much sooner than you had expected um, you know, I, I just had my eye on Waller the whole time, man. I mean, the, the Raiders have nobody that is really going to, you know, compete for targets. <laughs> Waller's definitely that number one guy, clearly. Um, and, um, yeah, man, I mean, I, I just think he, he's young enough that, you know, younger than Kelsey, younger than Kittle, right? Um, mm-hmm. and I just thought he was just a great pick yeah. there. He, I, I think he's older advantage. than Kittle. I is think he older he's a year Kittle? older, but it's just one year. That year, year doesn't really matter. Okay, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. Who do you do you like, Waller or Kittle more? This year, or just uh, you just? Um, yeah, I, like- I, I like I like Waller more, just because he doesn't have to compete. I mean, the Niners have a he's lot a of a uh, lot of right. talented receivers. You know what I mean? Debo Samuel is someone that's being forgotten a little bit. You guys brought up by Yuke, and I know you guys are collectively all on that. Uh, on board with that <laughs> and then you have Kittle, and then um you know that that team likes to run the ball pretty often he, so um, he's also got a 100 percent torn labrum which doesn't heal when it's 100 percent tear now there could yeah. be some some misinformation on that and, and maybe it does heal and it's like a 25 percent uh mm-hmm. left maybe you know 75 yeah. percent tear or something but if it is a hundred percent tear those things don't heal themselves and so you got to think at some point, at some point, with the overcompensation that that would require in order to keep, because he's, I mean, he's lifting weights like a beast, like he's doing everything. You know, he's got a little um, like harness thing that helps support and st- stabilize it. But without that labrum, you have lack of stability. Without the harness, you use a harness to get stability. What are you doing to the other pieces of your body? You're an injury-prone player. I worry about Kelsey. 
um, long term. I, I, it's just too rich for my taste in the, like the 3.4, 3.2, 3. Like, I, I just like other players. You what? Kelsey or Kittle? Um, honestly, I feel like Kelsey and Kittle could play the same amount of years at an elite level before the drop off starts to get real, you know? So you could, you could get scared of the actual number of how old they are, or you could for, um, not for like at the three or four. Cause I feel like Kelsey's going time. like, uh, and beginning of the second round or end of the first round. Oh, Kel- yeah. Kelsey won't. Yeah. No, I, I like Kelsey more. I, yeah. I, think by far. I like Waller more than uh, Kittle. Like what Waller did in 2020 was more like, Points per game, more production than uh, Kittle's done in his any year of his career. And yeah, I was referring to Kittle. I don't know if I said Kelsey. Less target competition. Uh, I think Trey Lance is going to be better than Derek Carr, but you know, it doesn't matter. But like, yeah. as as like Kevin said, good. though, there's more there's more competition for targets there. But also, we know what that chemistry looks like between Carr and Waller. We've seen it, mm-hmm. been there, done that. We don't know what that chemistry mm-hmm. looks like with trey lance so um he may have it with garoppolo but when trey lance comes in there maybe he's tossing it up you know not looking for his tight end as much i mean different qbs have different different flavors you know you get those deep middle targets i really like those and uh i think 49ers run less with lance just because uh lance can elevate the offense to a point where they don't need to run as much Mm -hmm. yeah and he'll run a little bit too so Garoppolo just hands that ball off so nicely. You know, it's real smooth. <laughs> like, this is the most they've invested in the running back. Not enough in the Super Bowl. I, I got about five minutes left, just Eric so you guys know. Cool, yeah. cool. Let's uh, let's head through this roster just a little more because I always like uh, Smitty burning up other people's rosters. I love it. No, he <laughs> likes this roster. It's a good roster. I, no, I actually yeah, like this I roster don't... quite a bit. Yeah, there's nothing. I mean, it's a 16 teamer that looks pretty good for a 16 teamer. I don't like Juju, but I mean, he could he could prove next me wrong. year. I'm looking at next year. He'll finish. He'll finish <laughs> tight end. Not, not tight end. He'll finish wide receiver 20 or something, and you feel like he's 30, but he'll get you the unsexy points. Hashtag free Juju. <laughs> well, see, I man. Been honest, I really wish he went. To he's only 24. Team. That's why I like right. him. He is young. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but, but he's, he's the third young. best receiver on that team. He was drafted yeah, but, the same year as um Cup and Galladay, and Galladay and Cup are mm. both uh, twenty eight. Yeah, but the problem is though, the problem is Big Big Ben goes down, which was, was really likely, or he deteriorates like fast, which is also very likely. One of those two is probably going to happen. Then mm-hmm. there's no there's no volume anywhere. You know, oh, so there, yeah, if you're talking the about receiver, so he, he's, he's the guy that's so the, the that slot. It matters who's getting the ball. It just matters for the offense as a whole, and you use. Juju like got a lot of touchdowns last year, and so without Big Ben, I think not only not only I think he'll be fine if Big Ben doesn't play, he won't be as good obviously. But I think Big Ben's less likely to get injured. Just because, let me like, let me add this: Do you guys know about Matt Canada, the new offense coordinator? Yeah. Because so so practically this guy's is all about misdirection. I mean, this guy's gonna come out in a jumbo package, and then he wants to see what the defense is showing, and then he'll just go spread everyone out. So. Practically, what you're going to see a lot is that guys in space are going to dominate. So Claypool and obviously Deontay Johnson yeah. are, are, are going to be the, you know, the main dudes. But Matt Canada is very, very uh, – I mean, there's, there's going to be so much movement, man. Uh, there's going to be actually a lot of play action as well. Big Ben is not used to that, but he's going to have to get used to it with Matt Canada. And um, that's why I like Najee Harris so much. But, dang, that yeah. interior offensive line for the Steelers is – garbage <laughs> i think i think that the, i think that the good schedule rushing schedule which we could argue whether it's it's truly yeah, gonna be the same good, number man. i think that mm-hmm. helps wash some of that because mm-hmm. they should have a, a better than i mean when you're when you're ranking two three four yeah it could change by five six seven spots whatever in either direction but i think that's a good start when you're like okay the rushing schedule looks pretty good um yeah. you know considering all the, the changes schedule is bad the misdirection is going to help with Najee, though. The misdirection in, in Matt Canada's offense is going to help him a lot because defenses are not going to know what the hell the Steelers are doing. They're going to be the – they're going to have the most movement in the NFL. Mark my words. They're going to have the most movement with Big Ben that cannot move at all, but they're going to have the most <laughs> movement and shift. Yeah, a little. Man, we'll see. Um, until he goes down, like Smitty said. <laughs> I'm so happy. 
I love Deontay Johnson so much, man. I, we yeah. we know that. Uh, I you know I don't know. I I can't buy into Deontay. I just there's why uh, he not, dropped not at the cost. Not at the cost. Yeah, I mean whether yeah. it's whether it's drops or just yeah. the fact that like I said, there's three receivers there. I think Claypool fits that alpha type role mm. a yeah, little definitely. better, that's, and that's and the diva. And when you have a deteriorate, when you have Roethlisberger's accuracy deteriorating, then you're going to have him throwing to a guy that, that has mm-hmm. a little bit better ability to go up and get a football. I think Claypool is like going to lead the team in, in receiving touchdowns, and that's yeah. going to be where a lot Come of off, points maybe go. They got I, I, I think <laughs> not that you, I don't. <laughs> if you don't like Ben's arm, I think you should like Deontay Johnson just because Ben's arm was causing them to throw short so much. That's where Deontay Johnson his eight outs really low. But I just. Yeah, I can tell that's call. definitely one of your gut your gut calls though, because statistically there's a lot going it's against them. If I, I really like someone, it's a combination of gut and stats. If I kind of like someone, it's mostly stats. Yeah, okay, that's interesting. I, I, he's definitely somebody I'm staying clear of. I, I like Claypool a lot, but mm-hmm. it depends on where both sure. their ADPs are. Like I could like anybody. If Deontay fell far, I'd love him as a. Uh, I a think late, Deontay you Johnson know. is like this year's. I don't want to say this year's Calvin Ridley, but like. Uh, if his ADP is around the fourth round, I'll take that. Like, mm. he has a he has a talent too. You know, I think. Um, I guess it my, depends on fourth also, round. Depends the, on how many teams ADP, you're yeah. talking. I guess. Yeah. Well, let me look at his AT, ADP. I just did an ADP um, article, and I, I averaged like five different ADPs together. Mm. And uh, Deont- Deontay is coming in at Doc Smitty with his math. I do. I do I'm, I'm going to get a – did Smitty, I'm going to have to get a picture of you in a white lab coat. I'll Photoshop it if I have to, just to pop up here on screen when we're talking about injuries from now on, with your visuals and whatnot. <laughs> I, I, have, I have a lot of injury experience because I've, I've hurt myself quite a bit. Um, <laughs> he's like a, he's like a male my... Stefania Bell out here. What's going on? Yeah, I know. I, it's like, hey, let's tear the patellar tendon so I can talk about it. <laughs> pop it off. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I tore my patellar tendon off my kneecap. That didn't feel good. Um, I've I've torn my ACL, MCL, LCL, meniscus. Um, I've, I've had a lot of knee injuries, so it's knee specific. I, I do know a lot about knee, knee injuries. But uh, what am I looking at, Deontay? It's all about experience. You've got the experience. Fifty-five point three, roughly, is his ADP. Okay. You inject that fifty-five point three every day. Is that best that your, okay. redraft for dynasty? Uh, redraft. Redraft. Okay. Where are you getting your redraft ADP right now? I'm 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 averaging uh, five sources together, mm. and the the only ones I re- I reveal a couple of them, but I don't I I put them as source one two three because I don't want um to put bad names on any of them. But De- uh, Deontay fifty five point three. Um, who, who are we looking at? Claypool. Mm-hmm. Claypool yeah, is seventy seventy three point three. Claypool it is. And some of this some of this data is yeah. bad. Like some of this data is bad. Uh right, because no one's doing redraft right now. You're so I took I took the three um you using the Kessler's ADP ones. rankings or something or <laughs> I no, that would have David Johnson number one. <laughs> um <laughs> Clay, Clay Pool, I took the three most inaccurate ones and averaged them together as one source. That way it could kind of water down the the uh, that, inaccuracies. Yeah, you get a better sample size. That makes sense. So I actually have three sources. One of the sources is actually three different sources. So I, I do my I do mine different to account for all kinds of error and try and make it as unique as possible. And and so a seventy three at Claypool. Uh, where's Lamb? Lamb's my Lamb's like my biggest breakout. Of, he's at forty seven point. I couldn't believe how late his his ADP in my community is like breaching the second round because I talk him up so much and it's hard to know where mm-hmm. he's really getting drafted, but. Forty-seven point three. Mm-hmm. I can't. I I can't imagine you will, getting. You'll never hear me or Corey complain about how high CD Lamb is going. <laughs> Love yeah. that both, man. Both OU Sooner and Dallas Cowboy. He's gonna be electric. How many? Elite, how many? Every, he's dude. amazing. You guys are Cowboy fans. Yeah. Oh yeah. And that's our guy. Hey, I'm gonna be real. I was so mad when you guys took him in front of my Dolphins. <laughs> like I, I, at 18, I was like, please, CD Lamb is going to fall here. And I was like, Jerry, what are you doing? Get, get I, I can't cry. I cried. I was way too happy about that pick, dude. Yeah, I was way too happy. I ran around crying. Like I couldn't control any of my emotions on that pick. <laughs> I love CD. He's, he's an amazing talent, man. 
Yeah. So good. I think in Dynasty you gotta wait till you. His girlfriend is so hot. Wait, is it with the phone? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that was everybody's girlfriend, dude. Just in case you guys didn't know, that was also <laughs> that was also some M- a couple NBA players. Oh no, it's a uh, Trey Young. Yeah, that's what I thought. That oh yeah, fun. yeah, Trey. That was Trey Young's girl too in the draft. She's a professional draft uh, girlfriend. Oh, wow. man, that's, been for... that's why she didn't get the phone. No, no joke. <laughs> Oh, like quick contact in your other boys during my draft. All right, we can do another team before I leave, or are we just sticking on one team? What's no, nah, we're sticking on one team tonight. Okay. Really, just one team? That's really? it. The whole lot. Well, so was piggy banks. You guys were the add-ons, but oh, we'll, we just, we'll, 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 if Smitty's gonna leave, piggy. let's do his. Let's pick someone who's not in this, so we can all collect. I was gonna. Stuff. I was hey, gonna go, go yeah, for yeah, yeah. Go for who has a good team. Let me pull up Smitty's team. Since is this even worth talking about, guys? All right. We got the 49ers here. How do people feel about the 49ers? No, I'm just yeah, kidding. James, get James Thompson out of the way. <laughs> James yeah, Thompson's covering up my team. Let's let's move let's Dude, move him out of the way. This is for this. Yeah, your chat. Have anyone there again? I don't know oh, why, Jeff. It's not. It's not on team. mine. Couple, refresh yours and see if that'll take it off because I don't okay. have him up on mine. I don't know why it's translating. There we go. Okay, I don't want to refresh because it'll that remove it. It's fine. Did that remove um, it for you guys? No, it did. No, it did. There's a little delay there. There we go. There we go. Weird. I don't know. I don't know who my flex is. Wilson's in there for now, but like I, 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 I even got to like decide who like because it, it gets thin for sure. Who is your flex? That's a great question. I don't know. Probably, I, I, probably, probably Singletary probably. at this Listen. point. Yeah, yeah. Like Sermon. That's kind of gross. Yeah. Sermon. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it won't be Sermon yet, but it will eventually will be eventually. Sermon. Boy, yeah. this I mean, is it's, it's, it gets thin real quick, but you've got some potential yeah, it, there it, for sure. It does. It does. I got a few a few guys like Madison gets in there. It's gonna be it's gonna be lights out for everybody. But no, I know I know yeah, you'll, think so. I like Sermon because uh, Raheem yeah. Moster is like what like thirty seven or something. So <laughs> like he's only thirty six. <laughs> exaggerating. <laughs> Hyperbolic. Yeah. <laughs> um, I got everybody but Moster on this team. He's so. Frank Gore, but he's definitely getting up there in age. Yeah, you really. I think is. when you when you have a when you have a team this deep, like when we have this many, um, you know, drafts. Like, or, by the way, can we add guys too, or did we cut off the rosters? At the, um, we should be able to. Don't I think he said add-ons. Not... Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't should, think we have roster bench, spots. We should have three bench spots, but I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I think he was uh, going to uh, add a few benches, but I'm not sure. I, I think he, he I think was, a, he was a lot of it. Lips. A lot of it's going to hinge on how quickly Michael Carter gets starter reps. And touches, right. you know, that's going to be where my season depends. Whoa, whoa, Everything's going to rely on that. Well, I could, I could see, I could see, Sermon don't hit. Like, what would you do um, for flex and running back? I, I honestly, I don't know, but I, I do think between trade, you know, between an injury, yeah, yeah, yeah I don't know. I, I mean, I, I probably throw a Singletary like in there for now. For a worse, uh, yeah, for a worse wide receiver and a running back. I mean, maybe. I think I'd try and muster through it, man. I, I'd wait for an injury to happen with Madison, or I, I would, uh, I would, I would hope that Singletary could fill in until Sermon or Carter got going. But I'm pretty sure mm-hmm. between Carter yeah. and Sermon, I'm going to be fine. But, but again, yeah. 16 teamers are tough, and and I think just to have it, Josh Allen, Diggs, and, and Metcalf, I'm going to be in it every single week. You know, like it's it's just a matter of can I win the week or can I? Hey, Smith, I'll tell you this though: Streetwalkers like your Colts tight end. Um. Oh, oh, yeah, Molly Cox. I like, I like Molly. He's good. Molly's pretty good. Is that was, a, that was a good deep, deep really? grab. I like Corey's Indianapolis tight end more. Yeah, Tyler Granson for sure. Tyler Granson, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, yeah. I mean, he won't do but, much. He won't do anything this year. But rookie yeah. tight ends never do, especially like round five guys. Yeah. So, but, uh, I'm fine, I'm fine with my, dude, this is a non non discussion. This discussion doesn't even need to happen because Bobby Boy Tunyon's going to bring the thunder mm. uh, at my <laughs> tight end. I don't need it. I don't need a backup tight end. Who's that? What, what team, like, team does he play for? Who's who's that? I can, Who? I can start him on the bye week even. Like he's that good. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, tell us the stats on Metacosh. What are the stats on bye weeks? In a dynasty, though. Calculate. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm getting a zero. I don't know. Oh, weird. Allen, Metcalf, and Diggs, though, that's pretty that's fire. Nasty. Like, you know, Dude, that's, that's going to be. It, that's it, awesome. it, Smitty, Smitty, land. Yeah. Where's your closest calculator? Like, physical calculator, not on a computer. Uh, I can, I got it right here. Go okay, ahead. Your, that Allen Diggs stack is going to be sick, dude. Your bye week's mm-hmm. going to suck, but that's sick. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm ready. I'll tell you one thing though, Smitty. The 49ers and um, if unless it's not updated, the uh, Bills and 49ers have the same bye week, right? Do they? You know, I don't care about bye week. I, I I'd rather lose. Yeah, like I think it's the big, sacrifice one it's, week and then call it good. Right. It doesn't I'd rather matter. have it all in one in one go. One hundred percent. I'm the same way. Give me all my buys in the same week. Sacrifice one week. Move on. Yeah, and just mm-hmm. have like full power for every other week. Yep. But Josh Allen, though, man. I mean, bringing in Emmanuel Sanders and having Gabriel Davis rising up, man. Yeah, and and just McKenzie and it just digs and I mean, who's their tight end though? Uh, it's Knox and Hollister. Knox and what I love about oh, what I love about right? Diggs. I like Hollister. It's relevant. What I, it is. what I love about Diggs this year, I think you can make an argument that he's like the best wide receiver to own in fantasy football. Like honestly, right. I think he's one of the hardest hmm. working guys. Um, we don't even know where his ceiling. Yeah. We don't know where his ceiling is with with Josh Allen because they're getting better together every every year. And and the fact that this guy's such a hard worker and he's got such like um, tenacity and and drive to to get better, I think it's the sky's the limit for him. And what I love about him too is he's going to be you know that one player that you don't own and the person's always getting garbage time. They're always getting you know there's no way to really slow that player down. I feel like Diggs is going to be that guy this year where you're like no matter what the matchup is, no matter what the score is, no matter what this guy's going to be getting tons of volume all year right. long. Like he'll he'll have very few games where you're like you know, not seeing much production. And so yeah, Allen I mean, and that's the only season was. I think 2020 was close to his ceiling, but it was also wide receiver 30 season. You can't be disappointed in that. Yeah. I think uh 1500 yards, nine and eight touchdowns. Yeah, I'd take that any day. Pair that All right, guys, let's get a really strong wide receiver core, and then like Rondo Moore is a rookie that I like. Is this live not going as planned for you? <laughs> no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't matter. We this is what we wanted. That's why we we're like invite more people, invite more people. Yeah. No, I want to. Well, uh, while we still got Smitty, James said we can hop over to his team and pick it apart. All right, All right. Okay, so I kind of want to do that really quick. That Omaha. If I can shut you guys up long yeah. enough. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Oh yeah. Omaha. All right, Tyler well, Higby, well, man. You- and Jacob well, he's got Carson there. Wentz. Ouch. I like Barkley. I like I like Chase. I like and, Chase. I like <clears throat> I, I kind of like, like Shark, but not as I a like receiver. Field. I like uh, I like Blake Jarwin. We were targeting him. I got sniped. Mm. Uh, I'll admit that was it's, some, I mean, again, these are all a lot of these teams are pretty Ferk, close sir. because of how I like that how one. You're not gonna have a bunch of guys. I like Ferk and Jarwin as late tight end targets, but yeah. It's hard I'd to see a difference have, between I, I a lot of teams. I think the Higby pick by mm-hmm. I agree. Because I think Jarwin outproduces Higby. Everybody has three or four really good players, and then it's just kind of. <laughs> right. Yeah. I don't what like the Jacobs think? pick, but like if you would have done something different with that that pick instead of Jacobs, I think you could have. Well, Jacobs was falling, was wasn't he? Pick, depending on like, because he fell to round. He, he fell, fell really round. late. Yeah, he, he was actually took, I mean, he was around five, he three. Like, which, trying to get, like, he actually took Javante Williams earlier. Does he have Williams? Oh, he does. He has yeah, Williams down on his bench. Oh, okay. I'm, so, I like it a lot more than. Yeah, I like that. That is a good. Yeah, it makes your wide receiver core look better since your running backs are so good. But you can only start. Two yeah, I like that a lot better than. It's yeah, a big, I like that a lot better. Yeah, I, you have three starting running backs. You can only start two of them. Like depth is obviously good. I think. Uh, yeah. Jacobs. Is yeah, good. actually, that team, that, not that bad. A team looks. Steal. And people are just hating on him for no reason when he's going to get the volume. Even it's a solid team. There, I like so. that. I, like yeah, I think it's interesting. Like, you look at his starting lineup and you're like, uh, and then you kind of go down to his depth and what yeah. he's got, yeah. and it kind of changes the perspective and... really quick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, go go to Akash's team real quick, then I got to jump. Yeah. Hold on, right. hold on. Uh, you want to go to Akash's first? Okay. Fantasy yeah, football guy. Probably... We're getting, we're getting uh, requests, so it's like, everyone's like, do mine next, do mine next. Oh, we got Candlestick Kid. Gotta go down to see yeah, my Candlestick Kids is in here now. Whoa! My best players are at the bottom, so don't don't judge too harshly. Yeah. Okay. David Johnson. Bottom, no, bottom of my. <laughs> I'm all just the way joking, down. bro. Right here. From yeah, the, that's his, right that's his key player. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I mean, obviously, you like, you like Baby Gronk. Ooh, I like Wallace, but I don't know what. Bateman. There he is. Hey, there you yeah, go. you got some my stuff down there on your Bateman. roster. Yeah. Hey, let me ask you guys. this. Do you think Bateman is just like Michael Crabtree in a Greg Roman offense? Like that's his ceiling? Nate, I don't know. He's, he's I'm not huge on Bateman. I'm not, really I'm not huge. I'm not either. I mean, I'm just not like, big on any risk. Huge. If Hollywood can't right. get it done in Baltimore, yeah. ain't nobody going to get it done in Baltimore. Hollywood's nothing. Hey, if 
Hollywood plays the slot this year. If Hollywood plays the slot this year with with those outside Hollywood. guys with Watkins and and Bateman, trust me, it's going to open up. It's a little unfair to judge Hollywood when, with that situation. I think Hollywood could have been really, really. He, he's yeah. he's so he quick. I he's love so Hollywood. Fast. We watched uh, him play in college. He's amazing. He's I, also, I think it's, also not the kind of guy to elevate the offense, and so taking him would like I don't know. He definitely this team, the this team's good. It, it's got a lot of potential. I think the the problem, and I face the same problem, uh, was, is going to be that do you have the depth to help support it if the Chiefs have a bad game or something like that happens? But yeah, um, you're, you're higher on Deontay than I am. Yeah, I don't, I don't like Ronald Jones at all. But who's no. your other running back you could throw in? You could throw in uh, Connor, Connor, like Dan Connor, Johnson, if Connor, Owen, counselor one on one, yeah. I have some rookies, I think those are, you know, those just, are better. I wouldn't see if it works. The same thing as you. Yeah. But. Yeah. I think those running backs are better than Ro- Rojo. I think Rojo. I think Ronald Jones is my best running back. Just but you want for baby Gronk. Let's make a trade. All right. Let me Uh-oh. see. Your team. We can it's going it down. We'll me after. <laughs> but I think Ronald Jones I, I wanna... is the best running back on the team. Just Leonard Fournette's so jag like, like just a guy that Ronald Jones can be a RB2. Like if you uh, just watch. Hey Smitty, what do you like, think about Arnold? Uh, Arnold, he he did all right for you guys last year. He was all right um, in uh, Arizona. I think he brings he's up okay. much needed athleticism to the tight ends in Carolina. And yeah, he's okay. He's, he's okay. obviously going to be the fourth, fifth option with um, DJ Moore, Robbie Anderson, Terrace Marshall, CMC. But he can also he can also bring like some value to a terrible position. <laughs> Connor and Johnson. <laughs> yeah, this would be this team would kill 2018, man. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> I, I would never take David Johnson in the league if we weren't getting kicked out for, <laughs> if we're on 13. Like if that, he can be like you know what I said earlier. If you're looking for value at running back, take the receiving back in a crowded backfield. David Johnson might be almost 30 years old, but he <laughs> matches that description pretty well. And so I got you, ball guy. Few good games of production out of him. We'll see. Yeah, that's who, what I who wants who wants my 2022 first rounder? It's it's up for grabs. It's gonna be. Early. I want. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I want a good. I, I want a good offer now. Let's go. Who who's who's dealing? You want a running back, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I could. I could. I mean, I'll. I'll go. I'll go. I could use a flex. I don't care. Like it could be running back or wide receiver. I don't, know. Right, I don't, don't don't be. Like, I feel like everyone on my. Team I like go for two's team. Immediate sells to me. Yeah, I do too. Actually, I like go for two a lot. Yeah. Jeez, where is? Make a trade right now. Send it over. <laughs> Let's see. Let's we want all your good players. All right. Do Alma Ra for the first. We want to see just how good you are. Let's see what you can do with all second stringers. Let's see. Who you want in the trade here? Let's see. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know that. Get, I don't know that we got the firepower. We, it, so we can't like make official. We're gonna get yet. sermon off you at some point. I'm telling you. <laughs> I don't think we are, man. <laughs> I don't think we are. That's no, I don't think we are either. But let, let's see. Let's see. I was willing to trade sermon. What are you going to overpay with? Because it's gonna take. That's a gonna over. say it's gonna take it. That overpay. was my point. We're not gonna be able to because. Hey, here, don't let's really you, go for the jugular. Never. Don't say Here, let's never. go for the jugular. Let's go for mm. Madison too, and okay, just so really <laughs> just ramrod it. Okay. okay, now click it, click it, and let's see what I need. Let's yeah. see what this is gonna take. You gotta say what you need, Smitty. Oh, hold on, yeah. wrong one. Uh, players yeah, to I'm, acquire. I'm, he wants. Yeah. Uh, he wants Dak, no, Kittle, I don't, I don't want, Mike yeah. Davis. <laughs> he wants. Uh, I don't need Dak. I know who hey, you, bro, you, you want. You want. Need it to want. Okay. You probably want Coop, and you don't like Swift, so we'll leave that one off for you. You guys went uh, tight end heavy, didn't you? Uh, I yeah. Video, I saw that video. You guys were like, we'll grab another tight end. Yeah. <laughs> Kittle. FX, FX, oh, begged us to take a tight end. Like crazy. <laughs> FX begged us not to take a third tight end before he took his first. And I was like, no promises, and then we took it. It's like, sorry, uh, buddy. It, 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 it probably and then you thought you might Kittle. take a fourth. It probably have to oh, be I did. Kittle. But you got Tanyan. You don't need Kittle. Hey, t- you know, Tanyan <laughs> only goes so far. That's baby Kittle. <laughs> it's, you know, uh, when, uh, when you, uh, you can throw him aside. 
<laughs> uh, now the truth we're comes about out. The we... We're talking about the difference between number four and number three. Okay, <laughs> it's a it's a big difference. No, uh, in all seriousness, I you know I've interested in Mike Davis. I've interested in Kittle, I, but I I don't know that we're gonna be able to pull a deal off. Uh, what's what's uh, Piggy we'll got? Can, can pull up Piggy's team real quick. Yeah, Piggy, let's make a deal. I can. I don't like Fournette, but I could definitely stack him with hedge him with Ronald Jones just to make sure I get a starter. You know, that's that's that's, that's trading one hundred and one. Like I don't yeah. like him, but I'll take him. <laughs> <laughs> if he helps my team marginally, then maybe. I'll. What what I about can't say what about bad players? But if I need the protection, dude, football football guy says he has plenty of running backs. Let's see what he's got. Okay, for you. yeah, he he wants Sermon. He no wants one Sermon. has plenty of running backs. You got to be lying. Mixon, uh, Jonathan. Mixon and Taylor, Hines, Hines Ro- J. Rob. Okay, he's got two. J. Rob, he got he got four. Hines and J- Rob, two good ones, be, can be okay. Yeah, J. Rob. Uh, uh, ask him what he's gonna ask him what he's gonna send me if I send him. Um, what, we don't have Hines to ask him. Guy. You can ask him. He's listening to you. Okay. Yeah, ball guy. Were you, did you take Hines as a receiving back or as a cuff? The only one that's got running backs to spare is Cadet. Oh, He's got like nine of them in the first nine <laughs> rounds. Oh, yeah, Montgomery <laughs> is available. Ball guy, DM me on uh, on IG. Let's get a deal done. Yeah, yeah, that looks like something can be done. Yeah. I, Who else Cadet are you? told me his strategy is oh, just Cadet, to, um, get at your starters and then for wide receivers, do nothing except take slot guys because they get you like that's 12 nice. points a game. <laughs> I like those. He got Claypool. That's. I uh, yeah, yeah. I'd be interested in cadets. Cornstone, Jimmy Montgomery, Graham. Jimmy Graham. Straight oh, he got up. running backs, bro. Yeah, he he, he got Pollard too. Many, like he has Pollard. He, he went yeah. real running back heavy. Yeah. yeah. Well, who is who is he, who is wide receivers though? Go back up. Um, yes, we got Judy Claypool and then a bunch not, of slots. not bad considering. Elijah but, uh, Moore's yeah, the best uh, third receiver. Yes, Patrick definitely Kirk, Smith. Bad. Traquan Smith's not great. Well, I like uh, Elijah if, Moore. If Winston's there, Smith might be something. I didn't see he got more. I like Elijah I mean, Moore down there. Smith's going into his uh, fourth season. So. All right, like well, we'll, work around, we'll work around Dom I'm if we do deals. Cowboy, but I'm going to get him eventually. If we do deals, we can say, like, you know, done deal and then post it. So wait, wait, who are those quarterbacks? If Watson doesn't play, he got a Jimmy G and who? That's what I told him. Yeah, I think that's it. I think those are his only two. Bro, know. what the freak? Right. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. what happens when you take nine straight running backs. Like, <laughs> what exactly. do you get? What do you expect? And Imagine. Watson ain't playing. He's playing half a year at most. At most, he might, he might miss the whole year. Yeah, he could get suspended. I could see that. Yeah. Oh yeah, I could see he, the NFL he, doing that. I'd you guys worried even, for my QB situation if he didn't get kicked out for finishing low. You, you guys know Deion Sanders things like pay that man. <laughs> yeah, Deshaun Watson's the opposite. Pay that. Pay those women. And that's it. <laughs> D, D well, Watson's in some trouble. See that on air? Yeah, don't get us demonetized. Oh man, I'm kidding. We're not monetized. I'm kidding. <laughs> We've been going two months. We ain't monetized with crap. I'm just joking. Dude, oh, sounds like uh, bald guy. Looks like he's got. He said, "Copy." He's got you, bro. He's gonna DM. Okay, you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be. And, and I think we can work around Dom. Not you know whatever Dom's doing, sleeping at the wheel here. Just yeah. we'll, we can do a gentleman agreement. We can announce it in the chat that it's done, and then we'll wait for Dom to, to put it through. But it I'm, I'm ready like to you, rumble. You can, no, nah, dude, you can do pay, trick. Uh, well, no, I guess you can't picks, do though. picks. Yeah, yeah, not no, picks. Yeah, we can trade. So, uh, don't yeah. worry, Dom. Dom's uh, gym is right Man. next to mine, so I'll go talk to him personally for you guys. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> nice. Alex, Alex is yeah, yeah. kind of nice. I'm not even gonna lie, man. Like Alex has a very great team. Oh, fresh. I better go. I better jump, guys, but I appreciate you having me on. Right, yeah, we appreciate you stopping by, man. Yeah, man. yeah you guys have a good one. See you, yes, man. Later. Please. Cool. Dude, I do like Alex's uh, – I Definitely. like his team here. Look, at his, look at his third QB, man. Look at his – yeah, the GOAT. The GOAT. <laughs> Dude, I, th- I like his team here a lot, actually. Is JV I think he did a good job. Now? I think uh, – I don't know. Being eaten isn't great for fantasy. I've seen players recover from being eaten by their starting running backs, but it's definitely going to be hard for him to return from that. Mm. Yeah, Darius I like this. Darius Geis and Tim Tebow. What a team. 
I like Palmer. That's a good flex play right there on a bye week. Gronk, you know, we yeah. thrown in there. You no, know, something you said piqued my interest. Like back when we were in the round where all the tight ends were going, and you're like, all the wide receivers and running backs here, you can't start them in your slot, but these tight ends, you can start them in. You like, you can't start them in your flex, and then you're like, the tight ends, you can start them in your flex. And I'm like, hey, you might have a point. Hey, I'm back. Sorry, hey, sorry. I've been sitting in the left. green room for five freaking minutes, minutes, minutes over here. I didn't know you left. How, why did you? Okay. Oh, My you internet blinked, uh, and I went away for like ten seconds, and I've been sitting over there waiting. Usually, usually it gives me an audible thing of like so and so popped in, so I know you can't. You left and came back, but I'm over this, here like, this, thanks, Smitty, come back again, and he's just guess, like, can't hear. I guess nothing. we burned down the whole system tonight with so many people. I don't know, but. Uh, those graphics are staying up on screen, you know, the chats, the graphics. So it's taking all the fun out of this because it can't like pop stuff up on screen because I'll cover your face. Oh, I'm not getting my alerts that I'm interested in your players. Like I parted every single one of Corey's players. He isn't DM me at all about trading. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I am getting those. They're blowing up my phone, but my phone doesn't, I can't take it because I'm uh, streaming on Instagram. So I can't do anything with it. But yeah, I see you're interested in our entire team. So, oh, even Mike Davis? No, I know you're lying now. I know you're not interested in Mike <laughs> Davis. Unless that picture turned you on enough yesterday and you were just like, oh, uh, never mind. I like Mike Davis. Uh, Corey, phrasing, I want to get demonetized. <laughs> Got to be monetized before you can get demonetized. Mm, true that. <laughs> well, you need a thousand uh, to the subs. Yeah. Yeah, you got to get a thousand subs before you can pretty much do anything. You can't really do anything until you get a thousand subs, but we're up to twenty six, so you know we're we're really up there. Yeah, you're up there. Hey, we're only two months in. We're we're only two months in. It'll come. Hey, look, <laughs> hey guys, I'm not sure if I'm sub. Tight ends, man. Like, what's that, Kevin? I'm not sure if I'm sub. Let me do that right now. Oh, appreciate that. God, he's been slacking, man. Nah, I tell you, you got everyone in the fantasy chat to subscribe to them. You can double their subscribers. No doubt. Let's do it. Let's do it. Make it happen. It's yeah, it's just uh it's weird, man, because even like our giveaway that ends tonight, it's so hard to get people to just freaking go in and like dude, tag their friends. Are not and their friends. Not yeah. Dude, I Don't did one giveaways. back in the day and it worked fantastic. Like really hundreds and hundreds of Wait, dollars. But we're the, talking like five years ago. To but... Sub to your YouTube? but who doesn't like free crap? Honestly. Right. Right. No, you dude, just have to tag people on our is, Instagram. You have yeah. to tag you like tag Tag three people. Thanks, Candlestick. Um, sub to our YouTube. Send a DM showing your subscribes, and then. Dude, no way, it. dude! I can't get yeah, people to click on one thing and just tag one friend. Are you kidding yeah. me? I can't get them to do one step, much less six. There's no way. Yeah. Be surprised, man. If you offer something that people really like, man, like you'd be like, sign Patrick Mahomes. I'm gonna give him a Just Ask Felix uh, subscription there, like. Can you get us a sign? Patrick Mahomes jersey to give away, Akash? Of course, yeah. Because I, mean, I don't have one of those. Just text him really quick, see if you can snag one. Yeah, I don't have one of those to give away. And I if I did, I wouldn't give it away. <laughs> just sub right now. You buy them online. Yeah, Appreciate that, bro. I'd just be tagging my friends until I want it. Wow. Like, <laughs> until I got to keep it. Piggy bank, man. This guy yeah, oh, we won our own give giveaway. Who knew? <laughs> Do I win the giveaway for seven? <laughs> did uh i think eventually i think we will eventually i was actually thinking about that earlier today of of a giveaway for for youtube subs and what that might look like we got to come up with something good on that because it's it's a little bit harder pushing people mm -hmm. over to another website to do something it was hard enough getting people to just do it on instagram so what's your um, man. what's your link in bio thing dude because i clicked it and it lagged for like 10 seconds oh it should just open I up have... our website and then it should have um, your link tree or what you should link your YouTube just because that's uh Yeah, it just has it there. it has our YouTube videos all on it and it's got like the links right. to donate to our charity and stuff like that on there. So it's just... appreciate your candlestick. You got us a yeah. sub over there. Love candlestick pause, man. Hey, but if you guys want to return the favor Oh yeah, oh we got God. you. When we're, when we're wrapped up here, we'll go hit everybody's. I've, I think we've already hit everybody's instas. I haven't gone through YouTube yet, though. YouTube, yeah, no, that's where the. I didn't OB think about. Uh, I didn't think about that. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, Warzone Sports Network. Oh my dude, TKC has Ridley and Robinson. Man, like 
man, that was my best wide receiver duo last year under draft. I had like in, a, in twelve leagues, I had seven shares of Robinson and five shares of Ridley. Like, mm. yeah. hey, Kevin, what did you what did you say your uh, the YouTube channel name was? It's a uh, Warzone Sports. Warzone. Oh, Sports. okay, okay. Yeah, my, uh, it's, it's it's the network that I'm on, but my show is dropping episode one on Saturday, so I'm really excited about that fantasy football boot camp. Is TKC in the chat? Boom. Candlestick kids are they in the? Is he in the chat? Yeah, uh, he was a few minutes ago. Yeah. Hey, if you're listening, you should trade me Jalen Hurd because I said so. <laughs> oh yeah, hey, that seems legit. You, you, you like Jalen Hurts for the future, man? Because you you got to really start thinking that they're not that confident in him. Not yeah, as that's much fresh. The fantasy that's community. Heard. heard. Oh, heard. Got it. Got it. Yeah, I like him. You know, he's a six-four running back turn wide receiver. Oh, heard. Okay, not Jalen Hurts. Yeah, that's what I thought too. So Jalen Hurts, Hurts a lot like... cheaper, right? <laughs> he's interesting, right. just like as an athlete. I don't know. Who? It's like what? Fixation. I can't bring myself six-four. Up on him. What position? He's a, he, he's a running he's back. A running back. He turned wide receiver in his last year at Baylor. Mm-hmm. Kind of crazy. Imagine a six four running back. Mm. I guess Derek Henry six three, so it's not that outlandish. But Jalen Hurd is not thick enough to play running back, and he's gotten hurt through the last few years. Kind of sad, honestly, man. Back injury in his first yeah, year, and then uh, hurt a lot. Yo, in his second year, man. You hate to see it. Cool. So, because when you when you tear your ACL, right? Like, yeah, oh, yeah this one, right? That, that um, dude can illustrate an ACL with a pen and a cell phone better than anybody ever. So you got this, right? And then <laughs> it's right here, right? Okay. Is, is that is that the meniscus or? Okay, so really, it's more like <laughs> this, right? right? Cool. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> Man, man. I've never even happened. tore my ACL, but I'm a big fat A, so man, mine, mine's, mine's like this years. without anything in between, probably. Right? <laughs> my you got right. you got like a hamburger in between yours or something, mm-hmm. right? It's just, <laughs> now you're putting it into Yeah, it's yeah. like there's just Crisco line between there. It's just smooshing around. <laughs> <laughs> gravy. Could be gravy. Oh, my God. <laughs> we are from the South. Could be you either or. Listening. You Liquid are, in your knee. You are on it man these all these picks are great i like all of uh TKC. who are you talking about tkc his team man that right the t- pod t- 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 pod oh t- t- no, he's Just the one if you're listening go sub to the t- pod right now i do like his team <laughs> he has a nasty yeah i like cup. Oh, he has cup too on the bench just That's say yeah on his bench like he's come he's definitely on bro Dude, you gotta you gotta no, set him on your bench. You, play you play don't want to play cup. You you keep Mostert up there in your flex <laughs> mm-hmm. for sure. But he's even I'm got not, like I don't really see it with cup. I don't, I'm not sure. Like if I want a mm. slot receiver out just to uh, not cup. Terrence Marshall. I mean slow. produced with a golf, so Stafford, it can only get better. Right. That's <clears> like wood. I mean it's only up from here. Med Ice and Danny Dimes, huh? Like, right, what do you guys think about this? If um, I forgot who has Higby, might be someone here. I don't know. I forgot who has Akash. Higby. But, yeah. Akash, speak up. They're having a hard time hearing you. Okay. What's up? I don't know why anyone would want to hear you, but hey, you know. Right, that's... That makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> lean into it, man. You gotta lean into it. I complimented TKC's whole team. You didn't hear me? That's okay. Uh, he might have heard you, but he wanted to hear it louder. I think okay, was the was, was the point. For he just wanted to hear back. it more. It's for those in the back. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I think yeah, it was it's actually he just wanted to hear it. I think he's being conceited right now. No, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love Matty Ice, man. You know I'm a Falcons fan, so I love Matty Ice and Ridley. Even though I'm a Falcons fan, I still love Kamara, and I like uh, Allen Robinson. So damn consistent. Not a big Daniel Jones guy though. Hell no. No. I like that, I like that Kamara Ridley Robinson core. I like to take, I don't know, cool. like, there's a point where, like, you're like, yeah, this guy's a Let's starting see. quarterback, but I don't even, I don't think he'll be a starter next year. And then, like, yeah, dude, you can't be in the NFL and have a turnover issue. It's, dude, you can't fumble the ball and throw interceptions. It's just dead last in uh, EPA per play, man. Like, 
when he's going out there, he's not doing anything for his offense. Guys, with with uh, taking a chance here, I mean, Sporting. this is why this is why Daniel Jones oh. is still playing. <laughs> I mean, honestly, uh, he's trying his hardest and he's doing a good job. You know, he's doing his best he can. That's now, risk leaders. <laughs> <laughs> is this going away? Did that disappear for you guys, or is yes. it still on? Yes, there? it went I away. That Alvin time. Jason Garrett. All right, I'm retiring. Yeah, hey, you know it didn't the- go away soon enough for you guys, huh? Ah. <laughs> no. he he stayed about ten years too freaking long in Dallas. <laughs> Made me want to pull my hair out. Ah. Hey. <laughs> but, you know, what you, you guys think uh, about McCarthy? Dude, I. Nah, God, no, man. Like, <laughs> hiring Jason Garrett and hiring Mike McCarthy is like out of the frying pan into the fire. Mm. No, oh, I think it McCarthy was better. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Last year was. I mean, the they were lighting it up on the. Problem. I mean, the defense sucked because the defensive coordinator was a horrible hire. And then, um, and then your, you lose your offense. Who was your offense was lighting it up. And then. The, I mean, Dak goes down, and you're scrambling with some crap quarterback play. And then Zeke, Zeke yeah. didn't bring it last year. I mean, he was he checked out when Dak got hurt. Zeke checked I out. He bounced back with Dak, but I'm not banking on it. Like, I think he can. Him. I mean, I think late in the season, Zeke, um, when he started feeling threatened by Pollard, I think he, uh, I think he stepped it back up again. But he he was lackadaisical up till that point, and then everyone started talking about Pollard and and how good he was and everything, and uh, how he was a threat to Zeke. And then Zeke brought it back. I also think Zeke needs to lose the freaking long sleeves. I don't know where that came from all of a sudden, but he started wearing sleeves, and now he fumbles. Sleeves is hurting his production much. But... So how about yeah, this? Is fumbles. When Daniel Jones back. I think you guys are Cowboys fans. They must hate the Giants. In his um oh yeah in Daniel Jones rookie season, his best um. Three games combined for 13 touchdowns in his last season. His entire season combined for 11 touchdowns. This just because mm. he's trash. His rookie season, he just destroyed uh, any weak defenses, and right. then and, uh, uh, and then the Washington Washington got better, and then mm. no more beating up on them. Right, that makes yeah. sense. Hey, how about this though? So Dak Prescott, you know, that injury was pretty gruesome. He was aver- yeah. averaging like four and a half uh, rushing touchdowns in his career. Yeah. Um, does that go away? I think. No, for sure. I don't think so. I don't think so. He'll, he'll come out. He'll have to get over some mental hur- hurdles kind of early in the season. But once he mm-hmm. has that leg's healthy, I think he'll be back to normal. He's not gonna mm-hmm. turn to full form in mobility wise. Like I think. I don't know. I. I like a Dax mental need to. capacity for that sort of thing. I, he's got some mental strength in there, and that's why I like Dak a lot. Um, but I mean, yeah, you can overcome the mental part of it, but your body still has to hold up to it. And that was a yeah. that was a gruesome break. So I don't yeah, know, man. I, It'll be interesting to see. I think he'll do fine, but ooh, you never I'm know. I you mean, guys the meme I made about Dak. It's kind of mean, but it, it kind of I mean, blew up on Instagram. What was it? Really. Yeah, it, I mean, well, for me, it blew up. I mean, it was just like a Dude, something we're, like, it was like two thousand. No, no, it was three thousand likes. I got three thousand likes. That's anyway. big. That's, that's big. Nice. Yeah, and uh, it was just a bunch of like I think the Cowboys lost like four in a row, and I think you guys were gonna face the Steelers, right? Where you guys actually gave up a you you gave them a game, but I yeah. I, I, I made a meme and said you guys were gonna lose seventy two to zero, and um, and then it was just like four losses in a row, and the L's were his injury, so it was his like leg all. Oh, God. <laughs> dude, dude. <laughs> that's crazy that's tough Dad, man I, I'm we're a cowboys t- fans we're used to we're used to tough memes man we're cowboys fans we get it all the time and we actually enjoy them i mean because they're funny people come up with some clever stuff team, what are you even doing like i laugh at right, exactly, exactly. Right now. like they're just memes pop on instagram Dude, yeah, dude, that's. I just become a meme page because my memes do better than my actual content that I put hours into. Right. <laughs> well, that's like yeah, Facebook. Thing all, all players about Facebook. their most all memes. Random players on their team. So, Pigman, what do you think about Miko Hardman? I love him, bro. Oh, I like. Him. Okay, so I feel like I was a year too early on him. Uh-huh. Uh, but with Sammy Watkins, you know, leaving, and uh, you know, 
I think Hardman man is going to take that next step. It's his third year, right? This is, we're, we're, you know, we, we live in a, mm -hmm. in a society that we're into instant gratification. So we want things right now, but yeah. yep. Hardman in the third year and, and right receivers third year is usually when they break out. And I think this, with Sammy Watkins leaving, hey, I like him a lot. Patrick Mahomes your is favorite, awesome. And your he favorite third year wide receiver didn't get our tar out targeted by Demarcus Robinson. Yeah, see, but Robinson, I, I feel like they're going to kind of, you know, push him to the side a little bit, man, because what he's, he's signed a one-year deal, right? Yes. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like players like, like that, you don't see good players get out of the way for, like, other players, right? Mm -hmm. Robinson's not a world beater, right? But he's definitely not been... Hardman has some momentum from last year in the playoffs in the end of the season, you know what I mean, that I think he can carry over yeah. a little bit. And he, and, he, and he can be even used in the run game, you know what I mean, with those little sweeps that they could pull off for him and those screen plays. And then you know that, man, if he – he could take the top off. I mean, I'm not sure. Is it Henry Ruggs that wants to race him or something like that I saw on IG? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's Ruggs. And, and then uh, Justin Jefferson Ruggs wants a part of it, right? Jefferson. Jefferson – can't hang with them. He's better at football, though. What do you mean, man? You saw what he did to the uh, destroyer on YouTube? <laughs> I saw that. Yeah. I think so. You guys watch Michael Pittman on YouTube, man? He's so funny. Mm -hmm. He's great. Like, dude, 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 dude. I don't know if this guy's added in this league, so I don't want to tell you. No, I don't think he is. No, I can't tell you guys about my deep sleeper on the Colts. Yeah. I man, we all know who it is. Stop it. Who is it? I don't know. <laughs> Take a wild guess. It's a wide receiver on the Colts. Um, and it's not Pittman. So no. it, the guys that got hurt last year, or what? No, he didn't play at all last year. Um, uh, so you got Ty. You got no. Actually, he actually played in one game. Pascal, one game. Pascal, whatever. The hell oh, you're talking about Campbell. He no. said he played one game. Campbell. Oh, that's a, yeah. That's a good one. Pa Campbell did play one game, but it's not Campbell. Pascal. <laughs> yeah, filter, filter by um, filter by the by the Colts. I so said, just go down the damn. That's what this is. Yeah, pick him out of the lineup. I'll just go to the bottom. <laughs> the deepest of deep sleepers. I see, him. I see him. He's right there near the top. Patman? Yeah. But that's not a sleeper, bro. That's a coma pick. That's a coma. That's why your favorite your favorite analyst hasn't heard of Patman, man. It, mm. It's the deepest like the coach has ever been. <laughs> Since <laughs> 4, 20. Oh, <laughs> Kyle. Be honest. Is it the hair? I'm sorry. I apologize. Yeah, it's kind of the hair. It's also that he's I, like, I dig uh, the hair, bro. I dig the hair. Brother, you know what I mean? He likes the okay. Z in the name. He's like, ooh, he put a Z in his name. That's Dude, he's cool. practically Claypool, but drafted in like the sixth round. You know what I'm saying? He looks and like, like a Pokemon. 730 uh, <laughs> spots back in the PPR ranking. You know, it just is what it is. Yep. That's cute, man. Why didn't you take him? Are you you just trying? That's why you're trying to get taxi There's spots so you can spot. pick up trash players like that, right? I have I have a lot of sleepers that I could add, but hell, dude, you're talking. You got a Colts fan who's just like I don't even know who that guy is, right? Like, yeah, exactly. That's how deep the sleepers go, man. <laughs> my the, my co owner was talking about like adding like Hunter Renfro. I'm like, no, don't add, don't draft Hunter mm. Renfro. Why would you? Renfro? Yeah. You know what I mean? Hey, let me ask, let me ask you guys this though. So you know when uh, people talk about two or maybe maybe even Mac Jones, they bring up Alabama, right? Like, oh no, no good quarterback ever came out of Alabama because they can't think far back as you know uh, the great Jet uh, Namath, right? But um, when you think about Clemson running backs, everyone keeps talking about Travis, right? But Clemson has not had any running backs in their history. Like, no matter and what, CJ Spiller was like the biggest bust in fantasy, but Travis is the only one that could be it. He could be the outlier. Yeah. I mean, when you're talking about, oh, this team has never produced this position, it's always mm -hmm. flawed no matter what. Like, Ohio State doesn't produce good QBs. Cool. Look at the last first round of the, in Ohio State that got drafted. Dwayne Haskins. Look at before Dwayne Haskins, it was the guy in the 70s. So in mm -hmm. the last 40 years, your sample size for quarterbacks with any expectations is one quarterback that busted. So okay. Nothing. Yeah. yeah. And but so, how about like, Clemson, think, though? Hmm? If you're, with running backs. For, if you're looking for team like college team narratives, look at teams that produce good players. Mm -hmm. In in Debbie, like look at like Georgia that produces good running backs. Look at Georgia running backs. Don't look at a team that doesn't produce any and say they can't produce any because they haven't done it in the past. Mm -hmm. Gurley, Sony Michelle, Swift, yeah. and my boy Chubb. 
Yeah, I got you. <laughs> oh, you had a few too. Isn't that iconic picture, man? Curly, <laughs> um, Chubb, and uh, Michelle all in the same field. It's crazy. Or how about the, the, the Alabama pick of um of Derrick Henry, Alvin Kamara, Kenyon Drake, and TJ Yeldon? Mm, Sad running back. Now nah, the LSU so, boys, man. So, Come Piggy, what do you think then of Mac Jones? What do you think about that yourself? Oh, I love it, man. I love that sack. I, I, I'm a Dolphin fan. I know I got this cold side, but I have all 32 hats because when the 100th anniversary came out, I had to collect them all, like Pokemon. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So, um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no. We got, we got 22. We have we got 22 uh, thousand followers. I don't know if that's. I don't know how many you have off the top of my head, but we'll give you a shout out a day for the next week if you post a picture of you wearing all 32 hats mm, at the same time as yeah all on top of each other <laughs> oh damn yeah, I <laughs> yeah no i only got like 200 followers bro oh really i gotta yeah we, we can fix that no nah, i'm just joking fix that easily man nah, i've been grinding for a while bro and yeah but a couple of years now but uh, visual, man, followers don't mean crap bro Follow, i'm gonna tell you something bro followers do not mean anything in the ig it's game just interaction. Bro. i know man it's true yeah yeah, and it's just about cons- honestly, bro. To, to this whole thing is, and just in life, it's just about being consistent, right. putting out good you stuff, bro. Uh, yeah. Um, and, and and eventually you'll get it. And don't when when once you start seeing the algorithm go, it's don't quit because I I messed up last year big time, guys. Like I was on the explore page all the time. The reason why my it's my memes and all stuff is like you kicking. That. Yeah, before and, like, and then I- like bro. <laughs> Once I stopped posting, like I, I went on a hiatus for like a couple weeks. Dude, Instagram was like bit a big oh, f you and was like, you're never going on the explore page again. <laughs> You'll get lucky. The line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's oh, it's that? tough. All but right, for, honestly, like there's an original this is question. Like and like I like this here. Like this is what I'm liking right here. These conversations, get on here, chat, talk through stuff. It's just real talk. Like this is. This is what it's all about for like me and Kyle. This is what we talked about wanting to do, like do this mm-hmm. stuff. This is fun. Yeah, that's why I, I want to get off the, the Instagram, to be honest. And that's why I'm dropping my show on this, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> the Warzone Sports Network, man, because uh, I'm, I'm yeah. dropping some really st- – so I'm dropping fantasy like you guys never seen before. I'm mixing the different crowds and bringing them all in one because um, it, it's just – I think the game is a little, it's a little bland to me. Um, and I, I just want to, I just want to spice it up a little bit. I don't know if it's my Latin blood in me that I just want to, you know, put, put some salsa on it, but you know, <laughs> uh, and then, uh, you know, one, one thing too, man, I would give advice for anyone that is starting up. It's just like make connections with people, man, and be genuine, be, be yeah, you. No doubt. And, and, that, and that goes a long way, man. Cause there's people in my DMs, like that hit me up all the time, bro. That I, I consider them like my second family. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like that. Bro, they always send me up. But we'll talk about things outside of football. You know what I mean? Right. And, and, I, and I think it's so cool. And um, but yeah, man, just I uh, just keep pushing, man. Just always got to be consistent. Drop good stuff. I mean, uh, I've helped a lot of pages, man. Like, there's a lot of people that will vouch for me. That'd be like, oh, man, I remember when I started up, and that was like during the pandemic, right? Like, mm-hmm. I, I would make people's edits and stuff. And my edits are like, cool. All right, uh, uh, they're, uh, they're average to me. It's just I find HD pictures. Like, I hate pixelated pictures. Like, that shit drives yeah. me nuts. Like, yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm like, bro, I could find you a better picture. Like, you just got to take an extra couple minutes and you'll find it. Trust me, you will. <laughs> but, um, yeah, yeah man. So, if, if anyone on here, man, if you guys ever need help with anything, like, hey, uh, it comes to edit wise or you know shout out to whatever bro I don't, you don't gotta put 32 hats on i'll do it for free you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> i love it right, no dude yeah. i mean we've kind of built that with like fantasy football guy um we kind of posted that one like ours versus uh dom's roster and he was like dude this mm-hmm. is sweet like we could do a whole thing on this and everything mm-hmm. so i just i built out all the graphics for him to run those like this versus this roster and stuff so he's running that and then uh we'll build out a bracket and like it's content for his page in a way, but we're all getting tagged in it. But, um, or like earlier, right before getting on here, he was hitting me up for some graphic design, just to help like, Hey, how are you doing this? And blah, blah, blah. It's just cool to have those connections and be mm-hmm. able to help each other out like that. I have some other pages that aren't in this league that are already kind of hitting me up. Like, Hey, what do you think about the look of this or this content? You know, is this something you would be interested in or you think other people would be interested in? It's just cool to have those conversations and, um build those relationships because and that's the one thing i do like about instagram is that it does make that easier like 
it's a it's yeah. an easy community to to connect with um, other pages like you guys and stuff. So it's it's really cool. It's just when it comes to some of these freaking follow these people on the internet, man. I swear. So look, I'll, I'll check this out. So every year, I, I put I put like everyone gets fantasy advice, right? But I put my I put my face out there. Like I literally on my edits, I'll put my face on. You know what yeah. I mean? Like uh, on some of my edits and. You know, uh, and I also put like my sleepers, my sits, and all that. And I have thirteen. All right, I have thirteen players on sits, thirteen starts, thirteen sleepers. Right, and everyone knows in fantasy or, or your or your gambling, whatever you're gonna have bad weeks, you're gonna have good weeks, but it's all about an average. And I and I, and I keep it honest. So like, if let's say if I hit four out of thirteen on my sleepers, and I'm like, oh my bad guys, you know, I'll, I'll clown myself. I ain't gonna let someone clown me. I'll do it myself. Okay. I'll put the circus music and everything, but, (laughs) but my point is that, you know, you just don't let none of these people get to your head, man. Just keep pushing and and, and keep putting contact content out there because a lot of people don't have the, you know, what it takes to just put their picks out there. Cause there's a lot of fantasy guys, right? But I'm not calling anyone out or nothing like that. Cause I'm not about that, but I'm just saying, all right, there's, you give fantasy advice, but where can I go see your advice? like on a post and i could be like oh okay that's your average so i can't lie to you if i i put on my page i my my advice last year hit 58.7 percent now for anybody that does fantasy that's solid is it is good yeah that's really good anything over 50 percent so you you go check my receipts like you can go back to all my posts and you'd be like oh shit, he had a horrible week here and then he had a good week (laughs) and good week and average week and what I'm trying to say is just I rather have transparency. That, that's the most important oh, part. Yeah. It's transparency and you keep it genuine and be a cool person, man. And I think that takes you a long way. And I've been I've been working years for this and I met great people. Like shout out to my guy, uh, the fantasy football plug. Like Jay the plug is like one of my closest friends, man. And like I love what he's doing. Like dude has freaking Austin Eckler, Darren Walters at his dude, house. Yeah. He texts he texts I like the other day I was like, bro, I want to go to the Dolphin uh Raider game, but it's five hundred bucks. He was like, dude, let me text Darren Waller right now. Let me get some comp tickets. That's nice. sick. And then he That's screenshots sick. it to me and sends it. I'm like, oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Cool. I'll know. send you my wish list for my <laughs> yeah. birthday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. That's and cool. It, I mean, that's awesome, though. Like, what Smitty's a really cool, too, bro. Great, man. Like, Sp- Smitty is a, is a really good dude, man. And he's, like, really, no you know, like, a, like a really big talking head. Uh, uh, and Dom, Dom Ruggs, the uh, mm-hmm. fantasy football state of mind, there's three of them. It's a three-headed monster. Dom is a, is a really good dude, man. Um. You know, there's a lot of big pages, man, out there, man. They're really, they're really cool. Like, I'll try to yeah. connect you with some of the guys that you might not know, and I'll send them your way. You know what I mean? But there's, 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 a, there's a big community, man. Dude, that's the thing guys. about like, yeah, because like Smitty jumping on here, dude. We're a small fish, you know. And then for mm-hmm. him to jump on here and and hang out with us and talk, like, that's cool. You know, exactly. Show us yeah, Doc exactly. Smitty jumping on here. Uh, I swear, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Photoshop him in a white coat. I swear I will, because that's going to be hilarious. Uh, Doc Smitty. But I mean, you yeah, it's Dr. cool, Dr. these guys. Oh, Do you know? what? <laughs> what was that? Oh, I forget the guy's name. I, I don't want to butcher his last name, but it was it Dr. Raj, right? Yeah. Uh, from the 49 guy? From, yeah, yeah. So I was like, oh. I think he's been kicking it with him too much, man. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's what I'm saying. Dude, 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 no, like, I don't know. Smitty talks about injuries so much, man. He's been kicking with Dr. Raj too much, I agree. Yeah. Well, when something's personal to you, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I have so my ACL man. too. Like, I have, I, oh. I, play, I play football, uh, well, flag football, because I'm old. I mean, yeah. I, I just turned 30 a couple of days ago. And uh, yeah, man, no, it's uh, younger it, than us. It, <laughs> young. Oh, my God. Man. Younger than me. What was that? You're younger than me. Really? Oh my god! Yeah. We have two cool. Hey, my listen, girl, can't you, bro. I can't even grow this. <laughs> like, You'll grow up one day. No, dude, I'm just early, like early, like fall off is like so sad because like on top of yeah, league, just three years ago, man. Dude, fantasy football guy brings up a good point. Uh, he said Christmas card list for life, right there. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> hey, ball guys are really good too, Christmas man. cards now. We're gonna have to get everyone's yeah. uh. Addresses. You gotta make me feel like a baby, man. I graduate high school in uh, a week. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, bro. Wait, For you real. Can, do you guys know Barely. about fantasy football sack attack? Uh, yeah, I think so. He's only tw- he's only twelve, bro. Yeah, what? Dude, I, I, I made this guy. I met this guy. Nah, on Twitter. Nah, I just he's the oracle. That. He's the oracle. Akash, he's twenty. He's twenty. Akash but he's barely legal. Akash is barely legal. He's the oracle. 
this yeah. one guy on uh, Twitter, I'm going on his pod in a bit. He's 14 years old. His pod is like the Young Fantasy Mind. Mm-hmm. That's kind of cool. He's Until he's not young anymore. We're going to, Akash, we should start you a barely legal fantasy football page. Just. <laughs> barely legal. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, be careful, guys. Be careful. Yeah, man. Just, <laughs> we don't want no fantasy Epstein's around here. <laughs> He's legal. He's legal. <laughs> Get all the real deep sleepers in here, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'll take Molly Cox. <laughs> Is that dinner? Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Meat love. Meat love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Seriously, uh, I think we do have to wrap this up now. We're over two hours on our stream, but this has I been a blast. Like we should get together and do this more often. Um, totally. I mean, we'll have plenty of time. Um, I'll have you guys on my show, man. We definitely got to have you guys on my show. No doubt. No I'll doubt. That'd be awesome. You're dropping uh, Warzone Sports on Saturday, you said? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll drop my uh, my show, Fantasy Football Boot Camp. You know, for all those beginners that get bullied nice. by the water cooler by their, you know, employees and their <laughs> coworkers and stuff. So I have a work league, so I get it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna. Awesome. I'm pretty sure you dominate those guys. So we're gonna tell them to add us, and we'll help them beat you. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Awesome guys. <laughs> many, hey, we uh, appreciate you, you guys up? jumping on. Kevin? What's up, Thank Pukash? You guys for us on. How many subs you got, Kevin? I'm trying to find your channel. I'm sorry. How many subs you got? Oh, uh, it's, it's not me personally. It's, it's it's the network that I'm part of. But uh, I think You're we're at 400 something. We started okay, a couple months good. ago or like that's about good. three months ago. Yeah, but it's multiple. You know what I mean? Like there's like eight of us, man. It doesn't matter. So, it's still yeah. hard, man. That's hard to get. Right? Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I got like yeah, 100 so subs off YouTube. just like my followers because there's some people that are like genuinely so cool. But yeah, no, that's I'm awesome. telling you like people – Clicking one thing to another is so difficult for them because their attention spans are 15 <laughs> seconds. Yes. So, so like, I like this. Ooh, shiny. And, and, yeah. And then, like, oh, it's like, like how you guys. play fantasy football, Black but you Kyle. can't do one click and make it to YouTube. Like, but you can play fantasy football and make trades and all that stuff. Like, and come be, on. Be the first one on wa- the waiver wire, have like 85 roster moves. Right, like, yeah. like these guys are yeah. like, oh, That's you me. guys. I set an alarm for 4 a.m. so I can be the first on waivers on Wednesday morning. Yeah, they're they're on there chatting like, <laughs> oh, you kick your butt in fantasy football. You guys suck at this. Like, and, and then we're like, well, can you go on YouTube? And they're like, YouTube, oh, brain fried. Like, what? But she would kick our butt in fantasy football. Okay, that's cool. Dude, one of the worst things about making content for fantasy football is you have no edge in getting sleepers whatsoever because like <laughs> every, anyone could just go to your page and see them. Yeah, oh, yeah. Having, a, having a followers lead is the worst. To the, your page, they take your page, page, yeah. therapist page to see if I was gonna get the a guy that I wanted after the turn. <laughs> yeah, so, like, man. You can get an edge with that, and like if well, your that's... friends find your YouTube channel, your sleeper is gone. You're not gonna get them. Oh, they know. They know all about our YouTube channel. Our our friends and stuff do, and we knew that it was pretty much gonna probably keep us from winning our leagues ever again because they'll come on and watch. Maybe because again. we're essentially, I mean, our show is essentially gonna be walking people through our moves when I'm getting on say, setting waivers. Like people are gonna be seeing who I'm setting waivers for and in, in, in an auction waiver, they're going to see how much I'm putting on the auction. You know, I mean, yeah, it's going to be, not the best strategy, man. But, it's, but you know, it's good for people to watch and kind of follow along. I mean, it's, it's fancy foot. It's a gaming, you know, where yeah, we consider ourselves a gaming channel. So it's live gaming. The game is just fantasy football instead of like call of duty or something. So yeah, it's, it's going to give us a disadvantage in uh, our leagues, but It'll be fun. It'll be good content. Plus, now that we've won our leagues and stuff, Kyle's internet keeps dropping off. He's got a nice freeze there. Um, but it'll be, uh, it'll be. There we go. He's back. Good question, guys. How, how is my is it echoing? Am I so echoing a lot? No, we get an echo every now and then on like Akasha's maybe, yeah. but no, you're good now. I, and yeah, Akasha's good mic. now too. You guys, you all three have mics. I don't have any mics like that, man. Yeah, you got to be cool. If you're going to keep Program. coming on shows, you got to 
you gotta step it up dude this thing was like 45 bucks for the whole setup on it's not yeah. nothing fancy like kevin's but i'm a um, few months away from being oh, it's not fancy at all. dude yeah spend your spend your allowance see if your uh parents will let you like do a couple extra chores around the house get some say graduation and... gift but you know spend hey, your allowance works oh. too <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. I, I, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna start getting paid for writing stuff. So you never know, man. Bro, nice. just, just get into crypto. That's it. Uh, that's that's it. Uh, miss, I guys, I bought. I bought Bitcoin today for the first Whoa. time. How much? How much? Uh, I only put a thousand dollars in, so I that gets you like point two, like point zero two five. Bitcoin or something stupid like that. But but idea. Bitcoin kind of tanked, so uh, it like the price was like half of what it was like a week ago. So I went ahead and just got some. So okay, that, yeah, buy the dip. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So has it, has it changed at all? I don't know when Bitcoin changes, bro. I haven't looked at it since this morning, but it, it'll probably change in like, I'm probably going to hang on to it for like two to three years. Mm, you should, but, but like people that bought into it, like, let's say like a year ago, maybe maybe ago. two years ago i mean yeah oh dude if it was 10 years ago dude, those people I've are like stories, possibly like, billionaires like right, i've seen these they made stories so much guy. money this one guy made a youtube tutorial on how to use bitcoin to buy stuff and he he bought a pizza online for like 50 bitcoin back when bitcoin was worth cents oh. and like all that now would be worth billions of dollars and then oh guy, dude he had, so like, much had what a great pizza bitcoin back in 2010 and he i would throw up if i saw that <laughs> he forgot his password to his account and he, it's worth oh i've seen that i've yeah. seen that and then it's like yeah, one more seen... attempt yeah and yeah you, you, you have 10 tries to get it before your account's like literally deleted and he's used seven of them hey where are you guys from atlanta oklahoma atlanta? city for us oklahoma yeah oklahoma city ah uh, okay okay Damn, it's late for you guys. You Where are you at? Oh, it's eleven nineteen. We're we play Call yeah. of Duty till midnight usually, so we're yeah. good. That's midnight here. So yeah, I'm from Los Angeles. Okay, uh, yeah, so it's early. Yeah, it's home of the trap. It's early out there. The night is young. Yeah, we took you right in the middle of like through dinner time yeah. and everything. We're just family time, yeah. dinner time. Corey right? was like, "Oh, he said he can only stop by for like half an hour, and then you get on, and there's like all these people on. And now you've been here for two hours." <laughs> <laughs> man, I should have left like I should have left a while ago, man. I don't know, man. Like, yeah, you got tests and whatnot. You got to go graduate, yeah, I'm, I'm guys. Done, let's man. get I, everything oh, academic. Nice. I'm done. Yeah. Oh, you're done. Cool. Nice. Yeah. Good. All I got to do now is uh pick up, not, not trip, walking across the stage. Graduate. Yeah. Yeah. Don't streak and and don't trip, and you're good. Yeah, don't trip because then you got one of these. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I gotta write this down. It's, it's stage advice. Okay. Uh, right. Guys, y'all have a good one. Thanks for dropping by. Appreciate right, you. Yeah, we'll appreciate you guys. Man. Have a blessed night, guys. See you guys. See you in the chat. Bye, guys. Goodbye, guys. Have a good night.